three, two, one. And then, uh, how does the beginning go? I know, you see. I don't know the thing. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, I Carly? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's hop straight into it. For sure. What's good, locals? Welcome back to the local podcast. This is episode 21. You can find our podcast on Spotify, YouTube, Audio Boom, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and I know I'm missing one. Mm. No, that's all of them. Dang, I got it all right. And if I'm missing one, fuck. But it's your boy, Carlos Perez, and I have with me my co-host. Miguel Vasquez, as Mike. always. We uh-huh. call him Big Mike. <laughs> but yeah today we got a pretty good episode i know i gotta read a lot of uh would you rather questions hopefully we won't have any uh internet connections that's what's been happening these past couple of episodes because i've been away at work so we've been recording this on the discord but uh yeah we got a lot of news we got a lot of movie news to catch up on video game news and by the end of this podcast we're gonna be talking about our main topic uh the game awards it's happening December 12th, and we are recording this on December 8th, so I'm pretty hyped. But uh, mm-hmm. nonetheless, let's hop straight into this, how we usually do it. Mike, how have you been, and why have we not recorded a podcast in a couple of weeks? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, well, first of all, you know, I've been good. Um, mostly just um, enjoying the holidays. Obviously, uh, this holiday was, like, just crazy, you know, busy, you know. Um, that's the reason why we haven't really, you know, recorded a podcast, because, like, we were just, you know, spending time with our family either working or just you know just doing us um but yeah like it was pretty um i've been pretty busy um just just eating a lot i've been i've gained like four pounds just from eating um over thanksgiving and just in general just heading out and eating like oh my god i've gained like five pounds dude like it's really really bad but i I just recently like two days ago i joined a gym just to like burn down those calories you know burn uh get down uh just to burn down uh the weight that i gained and yeah, like, um, yeah, I'm hoping to like just lose weight, you know, get, you know, toned a bit, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, for video games, um, I mean, I still haven't passed Resident Evil 4, dude, on the Switch. Oh, you trash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. But um, I've been playing a lot of Dead Space on my Xbox One X. Oh, Dead Space. Yeah, dude. You know, that's that's the reason why I got like the Xbox too, like, because like it has it's backward com- compatible, and you know, um. And it has Dead Space too, so I was like, "Hell yeah, I just gotta get Xbox for that." But yeah, man, I have I bought um, I, I bought all three. It was on sale for the uh for the Thanksgiving holiday on the Microsoft Store, so I got Dead both. Space? Yeah, Dead Space, all th- all three of them. They were on sale for five dollars. Oh okay. Yeah, so I just got them, and uh, what else did I get on sale? I know I got another one. Um, oh yeah, and I got Resident Evil Seven for the One X. It was on sale. Yeah, it's in four K. Yeah, but I haven't played it yet. <laughs> wow, but you got to download it already? Yeah, just an impulse buy, you know? Like, you see a good deal, and then you just you just want to buy it, you know? It sucks, you know? I feel it. On the Nintendo Store, when they're having that, that Thanksgiving... No, it was Black Friday deal, or whatever. Mm. They had a pretty long week of, of uh, deals on the eShop, but no joke, I bought, like, 10 games. <laughs> uh, like mostly I, indies, right? Yeah, mostly indies. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'll let you keep going. Yeah, uh, and no, I mean, that's about it, dude. Just a lot of eating, a lot of overeating, you know, and just enjoy, trying to enjoy the holidays. You know, Christmas is coming. Mm-hmm. Got to do some Christmas shopping. And then next week, we're going to go, um, next week, right? We're going to head out to the cabin. Yep. Yeah, I can't wait for that. <laughs> <laughs> can't wait for that. But yeah, no, that's pretty much it, man. Like, what about you? Uh, How you been? So pretty much, we haven't recorded the podcast because of me, because I've been away at work. And uh mm-hmm. I've been not trying to risk because I've been getting some shitty rooms with some shitty internet, so I didn't want to risk recording the podcast and it being fucked up like the audio. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Because recently, like we be getting pretty bad laggy connections, and my not my not like my editor, but the person that edits uh the podcast, Vince. I don't want to put too much uh work for him out there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like yeah. risk it and stuff, and then another risk taking is a. Uh, um, like say we talk about something good and we have a good conversation and the audio is just so shit you know what i mean yeah we've had that before yeah that's true yeah but uh yeah nonetheless i apologize for that if yeah we have a good if we have consistent uh listeners but nonetheless uh i wanted to get that out of the way and mm-hmm. uh yeah i've just been working a lot 
Uh, we had Thanksgiving, Black Friday. Did you do any Black Friday shopping? I didn't. Oh yeah. Uh, well, I mean, if you consider Cyber Monday and Amazon, you know, um, you already obviously you know that I bought the uh, PC parts. Oh yeah. And uh, you helped me build. You yeah, you helped me build uh my PC, which you know I can't thank you enough, man. I've told you numerous times, thank you. Yeah, hell yeah. Well, um, we gotta get it. We gotta get it going right. <laughs> for yeah, it yeah, because be like built, you know. Right? Yeah, because it hasn't, dude. Like, um, you know that Samsung Evo nine seventy that I got the yeah. SSD. It's not even util- utilizing it at all. It's not even using it at all. Yeah, so just, I know. I know the problem. What it is. Usually, when you yeah. get new new storage drives, you have to go into the disk management, format it, and enable it yeah. and stuff. But yeah, yeah I know how to do that easy for you. Sure, man. Yeah, when you come back, you know that'd be I I, I I'd be um I'm, I'd be grateful for that, man. Like, <laughs> no yeah. problem, dude. But uh. Yeah, we built your PC. I didn't buy anything Black Friday. If you guys buy anything cool, let me know in the Discord if you're in the Discord. But uh, um, what else did I do? Had Thanksgiving. That was pretty chill. Uh, we talked about it last time we were on the podcast, huh? Uh, what was our favorite Thanksgiving food? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I won't mention what mine was then. Uh, what else <laughs> did I do? I've been playing this new oh dude we went to designer con we didn't talk about that oh yeah we did and i filmed it too wow yeah dude did you you never finished are you putting all that uh all those clips in the in the decade video yeah but i did i did post a video like on instagram of you know me just uh observing the the figures that the creators uh the producers were doing Mm -hmm. that they made uh we were i was just like observing which which you filmed you know which which i'm like really thankful for because like you you got you caught my first reaction on on film you know mm-hmm. for in four K you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, yeah I got, I, I, yeah I thank you for that dude yeah no, it, was, hey, it was a good time it was did a good you time. go to uh, San Francisco with them no I didn't um I I, I didn't want to dude because I was just like oh, I don't know hmm. that's cool yeah but yeah we went yeah. to Designer Con that was so dope like no joke that was way better than I thought it was going to be yeah but uh yeah nonetheless we went to designer con they had a bunch of toys pins stickers that was so dope Mm -hmm. i meant like it was weird because like when i was going i was just expecting to get like the mark hamill pop Mm -hmm. and um i didn't like think about it like all these like uh brands that i like that are at the comic book store they were all there and I was like, and you saw me fanboying. I was like, dude, no joke. I have your shit at my house. And then that one guy, um, uh, the data crew guy, mm-hmm. um, I was rocking his shirt. I took out my, I was like, dude, I didn't know you were going to be yeah. here. Dude, I love your shit. And then he was like, oh, for real? Thanks, man. I was like, heck yeah, dude, check out the shirt I'm wearing. I took off my sweater and showed him. He was like, oh, heck yeah, dude, that's what's up. And then <laughs> he pretty much hooked me up. He gave me like a bunch, like he gave me like a couple of free stickers, gave me a good price on all the stuff I was buying from him. So I was, I was pretty hyped. That was like my favorite experience right there. Yeah, yeah. Like same here. Cause he was like so like just a nice person, you know, like yeah. So genuine. Like the fact that he gave me uh what, what he gave was a sticker, right? Yeah. Or the Joker a, stickers. Yeah, yeah, he gave us Joker stickers. Mm-hmm. That was like, pretty cool, dude. Yeah, like he has some like little like not like cheapy ones, but like obviously some ones that are free that cost less. But he gave us yeah. like the nicer ones. Does that make sense? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, I like I really I really like the way he was. He's really humble. Just like, you know, just a just an artist trying to li- like make a living out of art you know yeah heck yeah my favorite yeah. my favorite uh person that i met was that alex mdc guy oh uh, yeah you did tell me yeah yeah dude he was super chill like if you guys haven't seen his work you should check him out on uh instagram he makes like a, I guess like a two-face figures so like say uh say if patrick so he has a a, a pose of patrick he takes <laughs> off his head and he's just holding on his side and kid boo's inside or mm. um, Ronald McDonald, he has his head on the side, and it's the Joker underneath. Like it's just, I think his his art's pretty dope. Like the way he, like his ideas of the way he sees things is pretty sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. Like yeah, I've seen his work numerous times on my Explorer on Instagram. Mm-hmm. So his work is pretty iconic, and the fact that you got to meet him. Yeah, hell you know. yeah, yeah. He was super sick. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I talked to him about you, and he was like, "Oh heck yeah, I gotta meet that." And we didn't even meet him. <laughs> I didn't even I show know. you to him or whatever. So. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, I had a fun time at Designer Con that I didn't think I was gonna have that much fun. Oh man, just wait till Monster Palooza, dude. Monster Palooza is like where it's at, man. Like just crazy goodness. Mm-hmm. I can't wait. I can't wait to see uh, more stuff. But uh, yeah. let me see. We went to Designer Con. What else have I been doing? Uh, 
I got a new display case for all my statues. So that was oh, that yeah, thing, like, super cool, super nice. You haven't seen it in person, huh? Uh, yeah, I did, actually. Oh, yeah, it was done when you came over? Oh, yeah, it was yeah, done. Yeah, it was done. It was done. I think we built my PC. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, like, and like I also got a, a, a display case, too. I, I think you saw it on my story. I'm not sure. Oh, like, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. The glass one. Yeah. Yeah, dude, it's sick, dude. It's like the highlight of my room. I had to clean my room, dude, because like, oh, hell yeah. I was, and then, you know, the, it's, a, it's a nice display case from Ikea. It was like $60. Yeah, the glass one. Like, yeah, yeah, like dirt cheap. And it's just, it's high quality, you know, like it looks li really, really good in my room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, you know, I, I had to buy the LED lights. Yeah, that was like, what, like 20 bucks? No, it was uh, $7, like $9 for the four pack. Oh, really? What the hell? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude, in in my do, room. Do like yours pretty... uh does yours uh connect like corners or is it just one strip? Uh, just one strip, dude. The one you put in the middle of the. Oh, uh, okay, the okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, dude, and oh, God. I'm looking at it right now. It's just so beautiful, dude. Like my room's like really, really dark. So um, so generally I will have two lights. The my uh the lamp I have near my my computer mm -hmm. set up, and and of course the LED light from the display case and. Just those two lights running, and wow, my room looks really, really badass. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude, that's the stuff. Yeah, you, you gotta, yeah, you gotta come through, man. Like, yeah, yeah I'll go gotta, over. You gotta take a picture, post it in the Discord, so I can see that tonight. All right, for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But uh, yeah, let me see. I can't, I can't think of anything else exciting that I did when I was home or Thanksgiving. But I did enjoy Thanksgiving break with everyone. And uh, for video games, I've been playing this new game called The Tourist, and like. Mm -hmm. It's so sick. It's on Switch, dude. I say you should check it out if you like uh, puzzles. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a puzzle platformer, like adventure. Mm -hmm. Like it has like Mario 64 vibes, but puzzles, like puzzle yeah. platforming. It's like this guy, uh, there's like these, uh, they call them monuments. And uh, mm -hmm. they're like ancient, like ancient rocks or something. And like the whole transition moves and you're trying to solve the puzzle to defeat the final boss as you get there. It's pretty mm -hmm. dope. It's really interesting. I like it. I'm really enjoying it. The Tourist, I think it's like 15 or 20 bucks. It's an indie game. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's super dope. I really enjoyed it. I'm really enjoying it. For sure, dude. It's all about enjoying, you know? <laughs> yeah, heck yeah. And then uh, that took over. Like I haven't even played because uh, <clears throat> I got Pokemon. I haven't even touched it. I've been playing that instead of Pokemon. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm so bad at deciding which games to play, but I played a little bit of Fallen Order. I really want to beat that when I get back. Hopefully, mm -hmm. I could before we get on our trip. But uh, yeah, I haven't been playing much, sadly. Like mainstream games, like uh, I could be playing on my laptop, but I just really been lagging it, honestly. But uh, um, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. I sent you. Yeah, yeah. My bad, man. I sent you the display case uh picture. Oh, on Discord. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, yeah, cable management, but hey, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll take it out after this. For sure, man. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we can hop straight into the news. We got a lot of uh, movie news we got to catch up on, so we'll start with that. Sound good? Yeah, absolutely. For the first one, I was thinking we could start with the new SpongeBob movie that's coming out. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm definitely going to watch that, man. Huge SpongeBob fan here, you know? You think it looks good? You think it's... It like, looks good, man. Looks like, good? Yeah, it reminds me of that episode of uh, Gary's, um, Gary's Gone. Oh, Gary, Gary Come right? Home. <laughs> yeah, Gary Come Home, wow. I just called myself a huge SpongeBob fan. <laughs> I remember the, the name of the episode? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, I'm definitely gonna watch it. I watched all three film. Uh, watched all two films, mm -hmm. theater films. First one in '04 and the second one in 2015. You know, so a funny story. With, I remember when the first SpongeBob movie came out. Like, no joke. Like in my head when I was a little kid, like mm -hmm. we were going to the movie theater, and I was like, I was like, dang, we've been going to the movies a lot. And every movie we have seen, I've been picking them. So maybe if I pick SpongeBob, we'll go see the SpongeBob movie. And mm -hmm. then uh, we get to the movie theater, and they're like, "All right, what movie do you guys want to watch?" And I was like, "The SpongeBob movie." And then, like, no one said anything else. And then um, my dad hit me with the, "You know what, Jay? You've been picking all the movies. How about we let someone else? <laughs> how about we let someone else pick the movie?" Oh my god, funny. And then I was like, "Oh, all right." And then uh, I forgot what else we want to go watch or who else picked the movie, but. Yeah, <laughs> like it was just funny because I said that in my head, and then my dad hit me with the, you know what, you've been picking up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I never saw the SpongeBob movie in theaters, but 
Uh, I've seen the movie, but it's still awesome. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just thought that was funny to share. That's that, that is funny. <laughs> <laughs> <You know what? laughs> That's funny. But yeah, we got a new SpongeBob movie called SpongeBob uh, Sponge on the Roll, right? Yeah, on the run. Sponge- oh yeah, on Sponge the on the Run comes out May yeah. 2020. No specific date, just says May. But yeah, yeah I and, guess. Yeah. Uh, sorry, go ahead. You explain it. Yeah. Yeah, I just love the animation. On the animation is pretty good, you know, um, modern modernized. You know, it's not like Pixar kind of animation. It's more of a, it's more of a unique look, you know. I feel like it's more bright. Like the colors are really yeah, bright. Yeah. yeah, it is. And you know, in the 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 way how it's saturated, mm-hmm. like it's like the color the colors are like really saturated. It kind of reminds me of um the new the the remake of Battle for Bikini Bottom. Oh yeah, it does. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Like both games are like really saturated, which I don't know if I'm a huge fan of, but like. Either way, I'm still gonna enjoy both, you know, playing the game and watching the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, most yep. definitely. But the movie's about, uh, I guess Gary gets kidnapped, or at least that's what SpongeBob says. Mm-hmm. He comes home, Gary's not there, and that part where he meets Gary for the first time, I was like, "What the heck?" Yeah, it's like an origin, you know. <laughs> yep. So I'm pretty hyped for that. That's pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, SpongeBob, Sponge on the Run comes out May 2020. Dean looks. Mm-hmm. I think it looks great. A1. You going to see it day one? Yeah. Most likely, yeah. I'll be right there next to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for the next one, we got... Uh, what did you think about... We got Mulan coming out March 27th, 2020. Uh, I watched it, and um, it, and it kind of reminds me of IP, man. But I don't know. Uh, I have some mi- like mixed feelings about it. Mm-hmm. Only because I uh, I do I did I did read uh, an article about the the Shin what's it called the dragon the guy yeah, that Mushu Mushu yeah yeah I was gonna say Shinzu oh my God. <laughs> Shenron <Mushu. laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah like I hear that he's not gonna be that dragon's not gonna be in the movie yeah. so I've heard I've read an article is that true Yeah I said if the dragon if Mushu is not gonna be in the movie I'm not gonna be in the movie theater Yeah so. dude like. I don't know. I don't know why they didn't include that. You know, have Eddie Murphy. You know, um, mm-hmm. portray the dragon again. Like I don't know. Yeah. But I um, and then um, I don't know. I, I have mixed feelings. You know, mm-hmm. and like the Lion King, which is mostly like just animals. This one's like, it feels weird. You know, seeing like the humanized uh characters, uh, cartoon characters of these uh like icons. You know, like Mulan. You know, like it's just mm-hmm. so weird. You know, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's cringy, but I just, I'm kind of, mi- I have mixed feelings about it. I don't know. Hmm. I but feel like, what do you think? Yeah, what do you think of it? I think, I think it looks okay. It just throws me off. I feel like Mushu played a, I guess like, not, not like he was a main character, but I feel like he played a pretty big impact on the movie itself. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's like the donkey version. He's like donkey from Strike, but like yeah. in Mulan, you, know, you need that second character to like, to make people laugh, you know, like, you know, yeah. bring humor, you know. Most definitely, like, what, what are they going to, I don't know, like, I see, like, there's that witch now, and she could turn into a bird, and mm-hmm. it throws me off, it's like, okay, so they can make, like, I guess they were trying to make it more realistic, but they're making shit up like that, like, they might as well just throw the dragon in, too, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, why cut them off and try to make something more realistic, I guess, but, hey. That's Disney for you. Yep. They got the money, but yeah. Your monopoly. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you gonna watch Mulan day one or no? Uh, not. I don't think I'm gonna watch it day one, dude. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, I just I'm not really that interested. You know, I watched the film as a as a child. Mm-hmm. But that's about it. Like I enjoyed the film as a child, but I mean, like, is it something that I would wa- want to watch like in like in live action? I don't know. I don't. I don't think so, dude. I gotta watch the cartoon version for free on Disney Plus now. Oh yeah, I guess you know. I still don't have <laughs> Disney Plus. <laughs> Wow, I I still have Hulu and Netflix, but like, you know, I've just been both so busy, dude, right now. <laughs> but yeah, Disney Plus, you know, it's seven dollars a month. Like, you know, I'm not, you know, it's I don't want to sound cheap, you know, but you know, I just feel like right now, like I, I just don't have time for it, you know. Yeah, true. <laughs> Why it. pay for it if you don't have time for it, you know? Yeah, like I don't even watch Netflix or Hulu. My parents watch it, and I'm like the one playing paint it, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, um, for Mulan, you know, it's I don't think it's day one for me. I don't think I'll watch it in, in theaters. Me neither. <laughs> For the next one, we got It Man 4. We'll talk about more Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Not even Chinese, but whatever. Yeah, Is it IP Man or It Man? It Man. Oh, this whole time I thought it was like IP Man. I know. 
everyone does. <laughs> but uh, better. Think, have you man. seen have you seen any of the It Man movies? You have, huh? We watched it together. I think we did. Uh, I definitely saw the scene of him versus Mike Tyson. That shit oh, was yeah. sick. That was I, good. That was good. I liked it. I hate that movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and, that's the third yeah. movie. It feels like that movie, the third one. It, mm-hmm. Well, first of all, if you guys don't know It Man, you could, I think you could watch all three on Netflix. I don't know. They were on Netflix at one point. But uh, It Man is base, is uh, Bruce Lee's teacher. And this is pr- pretty much like his story, I guess. Like a prequel? Uh, like- yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. So it's, it's just a story of Bruce Lee's teacher. But oh, uh shit. Damn, dude! All the It Man movies are. I mean, just I like one and two, three. I feel like it was like, why even make this? Like, what the hell? It felt like mm-hmm. it was really like Hollywood. Yeah. Like it had like no story to it and nothing. It was just like, let's just make it. Let's just make It Man fight Mike Tyson. Yeah, yeah. And no joke, you know I hated it. I was like, <laughs> damn it! Like this one sucks. Like yeah. if I were to give it out of ten, I'd probably give it a three. But this fourth yeah. one looks like it's going back to its original roots from the very first one. It yeah. was just like a teaser trailer. It but was, yeah. it was. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. It has a uh, It Man is being portrayed as a uh, is a uh, the actor portraying It Man is Donnie Yen. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's bas- he's the Asian guy from uh, Rogue One. If you guys don't know, mm-hmm. and uh, he's also I think he's also into into the Badlands. Mm-hmm. Is he? I don't remember. But yeah. Yeah, dude, I'm super hyped. And it has, I guess, it looks like the main villain that he has to fight against in the end of It Man 4 is, uh, dang, he's like a Russian guy in, like, The Expendables, I think. Uh, What's that old guy? What's that old Oh, John, John Viata Clyde? Clyde? Yeah, him, but, like, he's in a, he, he, that's his partner in The Expendables. John Vlad Uh, Claude, something like that. Yeah, John, yeah, yeah. That's his, that's who he's fighting? Not John Vlad Claude, but his partner. Like, like, is like, I guess they've been doing movies together for a while. He's like oh, a younger guy. He's a younger guy. No, dude. But yeah, no. he's gonna fight him. It is, it seems like in It Man Four, but oh man, dude, I cannot wait for that movie. Oh, that comes out on Christmas, so I know what I got my Christmas plans for. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm super hyped for It Man Four. I love it, man. For sure, dude. The very first yeah. time I I watched It Man, um, I was at the skate shop and uh, the one of the workers there, um. Uh, he was showing me like a clip from it and I was like, Oh, that's cool. And then mm-hmm. no joke, like probably like the next year in Woodshop, my Woodshop teacher starts playing it on, on the on the TV. And then I was like, Dang, this shit's tight. <laughs> was so, that the first film or the second film? It was the first film that he showed us. Oh, for sure. And then when he showed us the film, like after class he would show us uh Tai Chi. That's the type of uh I guess like fighting style, like karate and taijutsu or whatever. The way mm-hmm. that he fights is called Tai Chi. So pretty much the way he's fighting is that he, not that he lets his opponents attack, but he uses their the opponent's attacks like against them. So if you were to throw your fist at me, like basically you use your wrist most of the time to deflect the opponent's attacks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's so fucking dope, dude. I love it, man. For sure, dude. <laughs> Sounds promising. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, before we go on, I just want to say that in real life, I feel like Mike Tyson would fuck his ass up, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Like, oh Mike yeah, Tyson, he's an actor. Who's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh well, I mean, like, yeah, I guess. Even but, in the film, you know, I just, I just thought Mike Tyson would have like just done better, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Had to uh, get that off my chest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, we got another. Uh, let's see, we got the that Black Widow trailer. Yeah, I watched it. It's a prequel, huh? Yeah. Before spoiler. She not fine. <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> yeah. Her demise, you know. <laughs> but um What did you think about yeah, it? Yeah, it looks good, you know. Um I liked it. Uh who comes out in? G- Gina Car- Carano? Car- Carano? I don't know Is anybody it? in there except for uh the guy in the red suit, Hopper from Stranger Things or Hellboy, if you know him from Hellboy. Mm. He's also in End of Watch too. He's the guy that gets stabbed in the eye. <laughs> oh, for sure, for sure. I mean, I don't think Gina's in here. My bad. Gina. Yeah, Gina Carano. She's an uh, like a MMA turned actor. Oh. Yeah, I don't think she's in there. I think I, I'm confusing it for another film, but I'm watching it right now just to like refresh my memory. Mm-hmm. Uh. Yeah, it looks pretty good, dude. Yeah, dude, I'm pretty hyped for it. I don't know anything yeah. about Black Widow, but I mean, hey, it, I guess this is the new start of Phase Five. Yeah. 
for the yeah, Marvel yeah. Cinematic Universe. Yeah. So yeah, it looks pretty awesome. I don't know. Like, I don't know much about it, but I guess they're gonna show uh, Agent Romanov's story where she first started. I guess before she mm-hmm. went to United States for yeah. the Avengers Initiative. Yeah. But yeah, I'm pretty happy. It's kind of sad though. It's kind of sad because like you think about it, like this whole time you're watching the movie in theaters, you're like, damn, she's not alive anymore in that in that universe, you know? Dude, spoilers. spoilers. Yeah. Wait, I, I said it's spoilers. <laughs> I'm sure people already know. Yeah, oh, she's a dad. dead motherfucking now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like this whole time, you know, if I if I if I do watch it, I'll I'm just gonna be like, oh man, none of this matters because you know she's already dead. You know, you know what I mean? Like, what's yeah. the purpose of of her? Like the motives that she has in this film doesn't really matter because she's already dead. Yeah. In, 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 in the universe, you know. Maybe but it'll be like a like a story. Like they'll start off yeah, yeah. with like a uh, Clint, like Hawkeye talking about like what really happened like telling the story to like his kids maybe i don't know true that that's true dude that's true Mm -hmm. but yeah black widow comes out may 2020 no specific date is it a day Mm -hmm. one yes or no uh i don't know dude like black widow was never i was never really interested in black widow like of course like she looked really good on screen but i mean like like character wise like i don't know um I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's day one, but it's definitely a film that I wouldn't like pass. You know, like I, 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 I would definitely watch it. You know, on Disney Plus. So. <laughs> Disney. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's probably gonna be yeah, maybe day one for me. Yeah, we just gotta look. I just gotta see the reviews. You know, I gotta see like more trailers. Hmm. I feel that. Mm-hmm. All right, for the next movie, we got a uh, free guy. Did you watch that one? Yeah, yeah, it's uh Ryan Ryan uh Ryan Reynolds. Uh, like <laughs> I know <laughs> I can't pronounce the name right, but uh I guess he's like a like a video game character, like a background, like an, an NPC character, you know? Yeah, yeah, like it's I was watching it. It was pretty. It's pretty unique, you know? Yeah, it looks kind pretty of, dope. It, it feels like the most bootleg is like Deadpool. Ready Player One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Deadpool mixed with Ready Player One, but it's yeah, not yeah. Deadpool at all. Like. Whenever I watch Ryan Reynolds, I feel like he doesn't, like, like, I don't remember him as a character. I just remember him as Ryan Reynolds. Does that make yeah, sense? He's like, yeah, he's like Robert Downey Jr., you know, like uh, Downey Jr. acting himself, you know, like being himself in films and then with Reynolds, you know, it's the same thing for him. Yeah, but nonetheless, yeah, like, yeah this movie is about, like, uh, pretty much what Mike said. Ryan Reynolds is a NPC, like, he's a side character, and then he, like, pretty much is, like, you know what? I don't want to be a side character anymore. And he does. Want, yeah, yeah. He wants to take yeah, control yeah. of the controller. You know what I mean? It's pretty unique. You know, honestly, that, that is pretty unique. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. You know, I've never really heard of something like that unless, you know, unless I'm un- uncultured when it comes to films. You know, someone can, like, correct me and say, like, oh, there's been a film like this before. But hmm. to me, it's kind of unique, you know? Yeah. I like true. it. I, I like the idea. Yeah, hell yeah. Is it day one for you? Probably, honestly, like, I don't know, day one depends, like, what, what film comes out that that same week, but, like, i definitely watch it, you know? Yeah, on, hell on, yeah. On a, boring, on a boring, like, night or afternoon, you know? <laughs> like, I'll definitely watch it, you know? Yeah, heck yeah. I'm gonna go watch it, Free Guy. That's called uh, Free Guy. Comes out, guess when? Uh, da, 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 um, this year? Yeah, no, next year. Uh, the same date as Doom Internal comes out? You wish, pal. Uh, <laughs> no, it comes out July third. Oh, that's oh, that's 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 next year. <laughs> Damn. All right, for the next one, we got uh, supposedly the last James Bond movie from uh, fuck, I forgot his name. Daniel Craig. Daniel. Daniel Craig. Craig. Daniel Craig. <laughs> Daniel Craig. It's called No Time to Die. For what do sure. you think? Have you seen a uh, 007 with Daniel Craig in it? No, I haven't. I never have. You know, I just. I never have. I've never really been interested in those films. I've seen the old school ones from the sixties, I think. Mm-hmm. But um, there was Daniel Craig. No, I've never really been that interested with it. You know. Yeah, yeah me neither. Really I never did. even paid attention to any of the Daniel Craig 007s, But goddamn, this trailer got me hyped. I was like, "Fuck, this is like badass," and it sucks me. This is his last one. Yeah, yeah, and then you know, Rami uh, Rami Malek is in it too. Yeah, he's the bad guy. Mm-hmm. He's the bad boy. Uh, just because he's uh from mid- Middle East, that's fucked up. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's British. <laughs> but yeah, that movie looks pretty awesome. I don't know much about it, but I thought I'd include that because I'm pretty hyped for it myself. No Time to Die comes out April 2nd, 2020. That's a, 
That's a great title, you know? <laughs> yeah, I know. Double double Pretty much Midnight Release is going to be April Fool's. And when you go see it, they're not going to play the movie. They're going to be like, April Fool's, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I thought that was worth mentioning. I don't have much to say about it, but I thought it looked badass. Yeah, it looks good, you know? Mm-hmm. Is it day one for you? Yeah, hell yeah. Day one for you? No, huh? Shit, I don't know. I've never even watched the, <laughs> the other previous films. Me neither. If, it, if it's going to be day one for me, I'm probably going to binge watch all the Daniel Craig yeah, 007s. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I figure, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty It's like, yeah, yeah, for sure. But uh, last on our news, we got uh, Wonder Woman 1984. Yeah, yeah, I watched it. Uh, that's like a sequel, right? Like a direct sequel? Is that a, or yeah. is that a different? For sure, yeah. Like, I guess, like, this this one, this film takes place in the 80s, right? Yeah. For sure. And then, like, in the previous film, like, some parts it took place, like, in, like, ancient whatever, you know? Right? Uh, Where she's from, I assume. Yeah, yeah, the origins, like, yeah. So, like, I guess, like, she never ages, so uh, I'm assuming gonna, it's going to take place, like, in the 80s. Mm-hmm. Which is pretty cool, you know? 1984, I mean, come on, can't get any better than that. 80s, you know? Yeah, dude. It makes me so hyped because, like, I like the last Wonder Woman movie, and mm-hmm. this one looks pretty interesting, too. I don't know the main villain. Like, I assume it's that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? And, uh, like, it makes me hype, but it's, like, it still blows my mind how, like, they don't have Henry Cavill, and they don't have Ben Affleck as Batman, and they were all together for the Justice League. Like, how are they going to still make more Justice League movies? Yeah. Does that make sense? Or are they just not going to do that at all anymore? I don't know, man. DC's just on some other stupid, you know, I don't know. I feel just like uh, What's-His-Face is a good Aquaman, too. And I feel like I still haven't seen enough of uh, The Flash from Urza Miller. Mm-hmm. And, like... Fuck, like, I don't know. Like, it's so hard to keep, like, saying, like, oh, yeah, these single movies are great, but how can they make another collaboration with all of them when they're not all together anymore? You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I guess uh, Henry Cavill came out and said something about, like, uh, he's more hype, like, he's hyped for more ideas of Superman and that he'll be into it. So I don't mm-hmm. know if that means, like, if they come out with a new Superman idea and they ask him, I'm pretty sure he'll say, yeah. Is that is that what it means? I don't know, dude. I forgot. It was something like that, but yeah. And supposedly Michael B. Jordan has ri- has written a Superman script too. Oh yeah, uh, it's a different Superman, right? The uh, it's like a different Superman, not not this Superman for uh, the Superman that portrays uh, obviously uh, what's his name, uh, Henry Cavill. Yeah. Not that not that Superman, but it's a different Superman. Uh, mm. He's like a black Superman. Mm. I forgot I forgot his name, but. Val Zod, I think Val. I'm not. I'm not sure. Me neither. Yeah, yeah. He's like, he's, yeah. He's like the just pretty much like the black version of Superman. Hmm. That'd be that'd be pretty cool, you know. But yeah. But I don't think Michael B. Jordan would be like a good actor for that, you know. For Superman. Yeah, I don't know. He's just too cocky, you know. <laughs> All <laughs> right. <be> <laughs> but yeah, Wonder Woman, 1984. Day one for you or no? Uh. I wouldn't say day one, but it's a film that, like I said before, I wouldn't pass. You know, I, I definitely watch it. You know, hmm. on DC Plus. DC. <laughs> it's DC Universe, right? Get it I right. <laughs> for sure, that's gonna be a day one for me. I think. Oh yeah, I know great. that. I know that for sure. I think looks great. Mm-hmm. It does. That's pretty much wraps up our movie news. Oh, I guess like a bonus, I could say, uh, The Witcher comes out on. The twentieth of de- December. Yeah. yeah, with Henry Cavill. Yeah, dude, That's I cannot insane. wait for that show. I read the books. I mean, not the books. I've read like a good chapter of the first book, and mm-hmm. from what they show in the trailer, like I was looking at it, I was like, "Oh, I read about that." Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah, I'm super hyped for them. I'm so fucking stoked. And I just, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I didn't mention I bought a uh, devil. I mean, I, I mean, this is a good segue to talk about video game news. But yeah, I bought a uh, Sekiro, Sekiro, and uh, Devil May Cry on PC. I have them for PlayStation, but I thought it'd be pretty cool to just play in the hotel. You know, like some minor, yeah, yeah. minor big story games that came out this year. But yeah, I'm pretty hyped for it. They were on sale. I got Devil May Cry for like fifteen, twelve bucks, and Sekiro yeah. was like twenty five. For sure, for PC, right? Yeah. On your oh, and you have your laptop with you, obviously, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start that up when I beat uh, the tourist. I'm already almost done. 
I just need like one more puzzle to pass and I beat the game. For sure, man. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, I mean, we could talk about video game news. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Uh, oh, I, I wanted to start off with this. I didn't put in the 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 chat or whatever, the YouTube chat. That mm-hmm. uh, GTFO, that one game I told you about. Like those, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it gets early access, comes out tomorrow, December 9th. Oh, shit. And you're going to play it, huh? Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm going to play it. I'm, I wanted to buy it tonight. Like, uh, oh, um, no. Just wait it, man. Just like, wait. Uh, preload it on my laptop so I could play it. Because I, I enjoyed mm-hmm. the beta itself, and I still didn't get far at all because it's so fucking hard. But mm-hmm. uh, I wanted to buy it and download it to my laptop so I could play it early mm-hmm. access. Because even in uh, the beta or the alpha, it ran really good. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, I I want to support them as much as I could, so I'm gonna get it day one when it comes out tomorrow. But I wanted, I was gonna say, I wanted to get it like pre or like download it tonight because the hotel Wi-Fi is so yeah. crap. You know how much I download? Uh, ten get uh ten megabytes. Nope. How uh, uh, how much? How many? I download at about four hundred and fifty-seven kilobytes. What the f- holy shit? Yeah, wow. dude, it's gonna take what is, forever. What is this like, two thousand two or what? <laughs> it's dial up, dude, bro. That's, that was my first <laughs> internet like connection speed, dude. <laughs> when I first got my internet back in what, like oh three, oh four? My God. Well, actually, like wait, no, I, I think I think that was back in two thousand ten. My internet was always fucking slow, <laughs> <laughs> but now it's fast. It's like a hundred. <laughs> But yeah, GTFO comes out December 9th. I'm pretty hyped for that. If you guys don't know what GTFO is, it's pretty much kind of like uh, Left 4 Dead. You're four people co-op doing um, trying to uh, <coughs> escape this uh, facility filled with, like, they're not zombies. Like I always say, I compare them to clickers from uh, mm-hmm. The Last of Us. And uh, mm-hmm. there's different types. There's runners. There's uh, They pretty much shoot spores at you. You always go in with a loadout. Like, you get to customize what you go in with. You could get a shotgun, pistol, machine gun, submachine gun, uh, mm-hmm. sniper, and uh, you get some really rare weapons too. Mm-hmm. Like there's this uh, radar, you can detect them through walls and stuff before you enter a room. Uh, yeah. Like a turret, like a like a sentry gun, uh, mm-hmm. a foam gun where you could block doors or slow down the enemies and stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's really fun. It's really dope. I say. Uh, if you could get it too, Mike, we could definitely play because I think that game. I think you'll like that game because it's a lot about uh, not not a lot about rushing. It's more about like like strategy, like puzzles. Yeah, yeah. No, not like kind of like puzzles. Yeah, because you got to go into different rooms and observe the rooms, like read read some little details to be able to get to that next spot where you need to go. It's really mm-hmm. dope. It's really fun. But uh, sure. yeah, the game comes out December 9th, tomorrow. I'm pretty hyped. Uh, uh, it doesn't come out like. Officially, it's early access, of course. But yeah, it's like I mean, a small team. I think there's like seven people working on it. And they've been working yeah. on it for like three years, four years already. Yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully their hard work pays off, dude. I mean, hopefully they can make, you know, the gamers happy, you know? Because mm-hmm. like as, mu- as much as they put like their hard work into it, like all their hard, like just like blood, sweat into it, like there's times when they can like fuck up and like some people like gamers can get ripped off, you know? But I'm not saying that this is them, you know? Like they know what they're doing exactly. So, um. Yeah, hopefully everything goes well, you know? People buy the game, they support them, and hopefully they can come out with a sequel if everything goes well, you know? Yeah. This is their, like... They delayed it, like, four times, I think. It was supposed to come out last year, winter, Mm -hmm. and then it was Mm -hmm. supposed to come out in spring, then summer, and they just Mm -hmm. delayed it to 2020. Yeah. But then they're, like, doing early access tomorrow, so that's pretty cool. They said it's going to be definitely less than full game price, obviously. Mm-hmm. They're thinking maybe lower than thirty five. They said okay. the high. They said highest is thirty five, but I'm pretty sure it'll be lower. Maybe like twenty, twenty five. Mm-hmm. But even at thirty five, I think the game still runs well, even for that. But that's yeah, just yeah. me. But uh, I mean, we can hop into the other ones. Uh, what did you think about Stormland VR? Stormland. Oh, the guy. The guys behind um Spider Man Somniac, right? Yep. They're designing. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, for what PC, right? No, PS4? Yeah, yeah, PC. It looks good, dude. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess it's like a, you know, you're a robot, right? You're playing a robot. Yeah, it's pretty. I don't know, like the story behind it. I just think it looks fucking dope. You're pretty much like a robot. It's VR, and you could do that. You could do that entire game. Uh, co-op, co-op VR. 
Oh shit. So I'm I sure. thought that was pretty dope. I seen a couple of uh YouTubers play it early access, like they invited them over and they're mm-hmm. playing it. I was like, dang, that looks sick. They're pretty much mm-hmm. uh it looks I like the environment. It's like a different type of environment. You're you're a robot trying to I don't know your main goal. I should have looked more into it, but mm-hmm. if you're really into VR, I say check out that trailer because it looks really uh that looks like the best VR game out there right now. Yeah, definitely. Because most VR games out there, they're more of like a, a quick indie. Yeah, they're made by they're made by independent studios. You know, like small short budgets. and sweet. That's the that's the thing I'm looking for. VR's yeah. titles are mostly short and sweet. You know. Yeah, and then Stormland. Obviously, it's it's fucking Insomniac. You know, the guys behind Ratchet and Clank and um and Spider Man. So yeah, like definitely um they're they're a big budget studio. So you can definitely uh, count. You can definitely um, bet that that game's going to be really good for VR. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that game's already out, too, if you want to yeah. check that out, if you have a VR. I think the best VR game out there is Resident Evil 7, dude. That just nails it perfectly, you know? Oh, gosh. <laughs> no, dude, the best VR game is Beat Saber. <laughs> oh, yeah. Beat Saber is dope as fuck. But uh, I was going to ask, would you ever invest into getting a VR? Not yet, dude. Honestly, like... Except for uh, Resident Evil Seven, for sure, dude. Uh, for horror games, mm-hmm. but there really is there aren't really that many horror games for VR. Like I know there's a lot, but they're not really high quality, you know. Yeah, like, like I said, they're, they're, they're short like, and sweet. Yeah, they're like cheaply made, you know, like Slenderman and shit like that. Like, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, for like I want like a high budget like VR game, like Resident Evil Seven, you know, mm-hmm. or PT. You know, could you imagine PT in VR? Fuck, dude. It is in PT. There's a mod. Oh, for VR. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not, the same, though. it's not the same though. Yeah, but no, not yet, dude. Uh, not yet. Hmm. Hopefully, when the PS5 releases, they'll show more promise of the VR. Mm-hmm. I do know that Xbox. Um, I read an article that Xbox is not focusing on VR with their oh yeah because their generation Xbox yeah yeah because their audience basically doesn't want it. Casuals. No. <laughs> 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 it's, it's like the uh connect you remember yeah holy, yeah holy fuck I, I completely forgot about the xbox connect i think wow. the, i think the connect has more sales than the playstation vr though i think i was listening to a podcast that said that like uh oh well yeah because the the connect was sold with the xbox right yeah that's why true that's why they count that as units yeah so, yeah that's why yeah dude i really want a vr but i feel like the prices they're asking for, the technology is not in there for that price. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like, mm-hmm. I really want one so bad, but mm-hmm. like, ah, oh man, I don't know. If anything, I really want the Steam one, the Steam Valve one, just because. Yeah, it's like, high quality. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, not like I'm trying to like always have the best of the best, but like, I feel like that's just how I am, I guess. Like, I want like the best yeah, you thing want that's out there. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You want to get your money's worth. That's that's what matters, you know. Yeah, I feel like yeah, that's I I really want one. I for sure yeah. I do want one, and I mm-hmm. think that's gonna be my probably my next purchase for my PC. Is for the, sure. Is the Valve headset? You still have your PS4 in VR, right? Oh hell yeah, that's just collecting dust. For sure. <laughs> Yo, how but, much is uh, that right now? Fuck, you missed out on a good ass deal. They had one. That get the fuck out of here. Oh hell really? yeah, dude. Hell yeah, they had how much the. Was- the headset, the controllers, and I think like three games for like two fifty. Fuck! Is it was it on Amazon? Uh, it was on Black Friday. It was. No, like I mean, every, was it on? Am- it was everywhere. Oh. Uh, honestly, it, all it I still need- could probably be on sale, but I don't know. Yeah, Dude, but then honestly, again, like honestly. uh, uh, I was gonna say that I guess there's uh, uh, what do you call it? Like pat patents of mm-hmm. uh the PlayStation VR two for PlayStation five. It's gonna drop oh. too. Drop for also. Sure? So oh, I yeah, say, might as well just wait for that if you're looking for a PlayStation VR. Oh man, I can't wait, dude. I'm really excited for the next generation of consoles. Seriously, dude. Hell yeah, same. Yeah, man, I just can't wait. I can't yeah. wait. Yeah. But yeah, Stormland VR, that's already out. If you have a VR headset, I say definitely check it out. I believe it's on the Oculus Store also. If you have an Oculus uh, Quest, I mm-hmm. don't know. I could be wrong, but yeah, Stormland VR looks freaking awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, what did you think about uh Crimson Desert? Crimson Desert. Uh, let me see. Let me check. Which one's that one? Uh, that one was like it kind of looked like Lord of the Rings, but it's not Lord of the Rings. Crimson J- Desert. Oh, da, da, da. Like there's dragons and stuff, like different creatures. It's really uh, I don't know. If most of it. I don't know if some of those cutscenes were like gameplay cutscenes, like them running, like and the dragon flying over them. I don't know if that's a cutscene from a different camera POV. 
Yeah. Oh, it's an MMO, right? I don't know. It like, what do you call MMOs? Uh, I think it's the. Uh, it's the, not like World of Warcraft. No. No. That's past. I don't know what that one is actually. <laughs> Is that like the, the in the trailer? Is that all in game? Like, is that what the graphics look like? Like the character models? That, that's or... what I was saying. I don't know if that's in game. Because there's no gameplay. Like, yeah, like like I said, it looked like some of the scenes were gameplay from a different camera POV, but mm-hmm. I don't really know. You know what I mean? Yeah. That one didn't have a release date either, but I thought that game looked pretty dope. Yeah, I'm assuming. I'm assuming that's just like um, there is game. Like the graphics are gonna be like that. It's not a, mm-hmm. like a trailer. Trailer for. Cause it's it's an MMO, and when I think of MMO, like I'm thinking about the, uh, you know, the over the top, you know, characters battling each other like League of yeah. Legends. But I don't know. It, it says a uh, MM, MMO RPG. Crimson so, yeah, Desert. Yeah, MMO oh. RPG. Okay. Well, yeah, I yeah. gotta see more. Ga- I gotta see gameplay of that because that the the trailer looks really hella interesting. Because I like yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I like that type of a uh, setting or or. Uh, scenery i guess i don't know i think yeah, setting yeah. was balls on but <laughs> yeah yeah but uh it kind of looks like lord of the rings but it's definitely not lord of the rings yeah it reminds me of uh Assassin's creed unity the, the buildings yeah. the, the architecture of the buildings mm-hmm. oh have you seen that game uh what's that game called fuck it came out last year i forgot but yeah it kind of looks like that game you guys know what i'm talking about <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, Crimson Desert looks looks fucking awesome. They didn't have a release date or nothing though. It was weird. Yeah, yeah. But uh, there's no gameplay at all. It's just it's just all animated, you know, like to to look like a cinematic uh, trailer, you know. Like no good though. It does, yeah. But uh, after that, we got uh, that new game called Plan Eight. Plan Eight. Um, Plan Eight. It looks like a mixture of Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, Dying Light, and Cyberpunk, like with those robots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. I did not see this one. Holy crap. This oh, one looks dude. really, really good. Yeah, dude. That game looks fucking awesome. It, I mean, I think some of it's gameplay from a different camera POV because you see the character yeah. moving and, like, climbing the building and wow. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks really fucking dope. It looks... I don't know, like... With these trailers, they don't tell you straight out what the plot is, but it looks like uh, robots are trying to take over or people controlling the robots. Uh... It looks really hella dope. It's pretty much. It kind of feels like, like I get like a Terminator vibe. Was that was yeah. the, was that shit called? Uh, and your skeleton. The yeah. Exo, like some, like the yeah, skeleton. but what's the company called? Oh, uh, what's it called? Skynet. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it feels like it feels like a Skynet is trying to take over the planet, and the the people are pretty much defending themselves. Yeah, yeah. You, damn, man. It looks really damn. It looks good. Yeah, dude. It looks fucking awesome. Yeah. If you guys haven't seen the trailer for Plan 8, I say definitely go check that out because it looks fucking dope. Yeah, there's definitely some hype behind it, but there's also some, like, some skep- uh, skeptics. They're yeah. like, there's one comment saying, like, this comment has, like, 7,000, nearly 8,000 likes on YouTube. It says, for some reason, I don't believe what we're seeing is actual gameplay, which I kind of oh, have to agree yeah. with. Hell yeah. And then there's another, there's another, uh, comment, um, that says 2019 Plan 8 trailer releases 2020 game releases biggest disappointment. You know? Damn, it could be an anthem. So much... Carlos. Yeah, what's up? Oh shit. I thought my PC turned off, dude. My bad. <laughs> You're good. Yeah. Monitor just turned off. Yeah, it's never done that. I don't know why. It's just yeah. Need a fresh reboot on my PC. <laughs> Alright, well let's just keep it going. Yeah, Plan 8 looks pretty fucking awesome. But yeah, it could could disappoint, but hey. Who knows? It's like you know? Sky. Yeah, it's like No Man's Sky. You still remember? Yeah. <laughs> so well, much hype. Well, No No Man's Sky had a lot of hype. It's just that it didn't deliver what it said it was. Yeah, it was glitchy. Like, Something like, like they said a lot of things, but they didn't promise it day one. They promised it over time. And But hey, they did yeah. deliver, though. I've heard a lot of people say that over time, uh, No Man's Sky picked up all the stuff that they lost over. Came out really bad, but it ended like really, really good. For sure, but uh, I yeah. Still plan. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Plan Eight, fucking awesome. If you haven't seen the trailer, I say definitely go check it out. Mm-hmm. Um, after that, we got a uh, Mario Maker Two update. Oh man, dude, I'm so fucking hyped for that. I cannot wait to get back home. I was so pissed because before <laughs> I came back to work, no joke, I swear to God, I was mm-hmm. like, should I bring Mario Maker? I feel like they're gonna have a have an update, and I'll be playing it when I'm at the hotel. And I was like. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. <laughs> I was like, nah, I'll just leave it. Whatever. I got to play other games to beat that are on my backlog on my Switch. So I won't take yeah. it. No joke. Because that next morning, I'm on my way to work. I get a text from Damien sending me the update video. And I was like, motherfucker. <laughs> I didn't fucking bring it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, dude. I was so bummed because this update's so sick. They added a couple of new items. Uh, I don't remember which items they were, but... Basically, the majorest update that they brought in there was that you could be Link now. Yeah, yeah. And, like, you basically, you're Mario, and if you see the Master Sword, you grab the Master Sword, and you become Link. You can pretty much use the sword, use the shield, use the bomb, and use the arrows in Mario Maker. Can you mm. believe that? That blows my mind, dude. It's like, what the hell? You can shoot the bow and arrow, like, uh, diagonally up, diagonally down, and straight across. Fuck, sure. dude. And it's a free update, right? Obviously, yeah, right? Yeah, free update. Yeah. That's, that's good on Nintendo's part, honestly. That's really, really good. Yeah, that's, yeah. hell yeah. Dude, I cannot wait that's to see good. what they're going to be making with, 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 like, Zelda levels practically. Like, oh my god, dude. I can't wait to go <laughs> home. I'm so for hyped. Sure, for sure, that's going to be something I stream as soon as I get home. <laughs> oh, I know. Uh, yeah, I've seen your videos, man. Of like, you playing Mario, uh, uh, Mario Maker. Those shits are funny, dude. I love Mario Maker. But, I know, uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, Mario Maker 2 update, that's already out. I'm pretty sure you guys know that already. But if you don't know, now you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, after that, we got uh, that Temtem game. T-E-M-T-E-M. It's, Pokemon? <laughs> you wish. Is it? It's what Pokemon wants to be. <laughs> oh, it is? Oh, Pokemon like MMO. Oh, my God. Yeah, dude. It's. Yeah, did. did you watch the trailer? I did watch it, but I, I misread the title. <laughs> yeah, it's, I thought it was like related to Pokemon. Oh no 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 no! Yeah, it's the game. It's not the game Pokemon wants to be, but this is pretty much a bootlegged. But like, it looks way better version of Pokemon. Yeah, you pretty much start off with a starter at a starter monster, I guess, mm-hmm. and uh, you can play the game entirely in co-op, and you can play like open like MMO, I guess, style, like like travel the world together with with a bunch of other with all your homies. But you mm-hmm. can only do the story mode, like story missions, with one person. Yeah. But yeah, it's super dope. If you guys have, if you guys want, if that sounds interesting to you guys, I say you guys go check it out. It's called Temtem. It's supposedly coming to consoles. I doubt it will come to Switch, but. Oh, yeah. what a! <laughs> how ironic. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. I'm pretty sure it will come to PlayStation and Xbox because why wouldn't they want a game like that on their on their console? You know. Yeah, I'm sure it'll go on. Come on, Switch, because looking at it, it's not visually that demanding. It doesn't look that demanding when it comes to visuals. Oh no, no, no! So, I say it's not coming to Switch because of uh Pokemon uh, loyalty. Yeah, like they probably. wouldn't want a game like that to compete against Pokemon. But uh, can you imagine though? Like Pokemon's uh, Pokemon is like Nintendo's like bread and butter for this for the Switch. You know? Mm-hmm. Could you imagine like it's not on the Switch, but it's on PS4 and Xbox, and people tend to like people will like. Well, and like start to go to uh, Tentum mm-hmm. for like Pokemon experience, and then Nintendo starts like suing them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, hell yeah. It's like the Digimon version of Pokemon, pretty much like Digimon, you know. Mm-hmm. But sure. uh, yeah, Temtem looks really awesome. If you wanna, yeah. if you don't have yeah. a Switch and you wanna play Pokemon, then I say wait for Temtem. Supposedly, it doesn't. It's gonna come out next year. Early mm-hmm. access comes to PC first on. January twenty first, I believe. Mm-hmm. You can pre order it on Steam right now if you want to check that out. But yeah, Temtem, it's really fucking awesome. It looks so dope. I'm gonna grab that. <laughs> um, after that, we got we basically got a new, I think the first one ever. I don't know, Jesus Christ game. Oh my god, I saw the dislikes. <laughs> How many dislikes does it have? It has like five thousand dislikes and ten thousand likes. <laughs> I seen yeah. a, I'm, on the other discords I'm in. Someone said, "Hopefully they put Buddha DLC." <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, supposedly it's, I, it's the game title is called "I Am Jesus Christ," and I think it's available now. I don't know, but uh, yeah, <laughs> pretty much "I Am Jesus Christ." It's all about the New Testament and stuff. And uh, mm-hmm. yeah, if you wanna <laughs> don't wanna read the Bible, I guess you could play the game. <laughs> Oh my god, dude! Like the comment section of uh of that uh, of the trailer is just they're, they're so fucking hilarious, dude. There's one, there's one that makes me laugh like, like the most. The comment says, "Mission hint: What would Jesus do?" <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> <that's> funny. 
man. That's pretty funny. I was showing my dad the, the trailer too, and uh, mm-hmm. he was like, I mean, I guess that's cool. I, I hope they just don't put some dumb shit in there. Yeah, then, yeah. Like some corny, like like offensive stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like, <laughs> like, because he was like, I hope it's not like they don't add something funny in there. And then like it shows the scene where Jesus is like, making fish come out of the bucket <laughs> and my dad just starts busting up because he thought that was the way it looked was funny he was like yeah, yeah, yeah. he was like that's not how it literally happened but i guess that's a that's a <laughs> way of saying how it happened but yeah 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 it was funny when i was showing him that was awesome <laughs> that's funny dude but yeah i am jesus christ it's a video game if you want i say go check it out it's worth the it's worth jesus the look simulator. yeah yeah it's like a jesus simulator yeah um there's this one game called uh, Where the Water, uh, where, what is it called? Where the Water mm-hmm. Tastes Like Wine. That's what it's called. I couldn't read my own writing. <laughs> is that in the playlist? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. It's, a, it's a Nintendo Switch game. It's, not, it's nothing major. It doesn't really tell much, but I just think the art looks really nice, and it looks like it's going to be... Uh, not like an adventure, like your open world, but it's more like adventure story where you're choosing yeah. your own, you choose your, your own, own decisions. Action. You're finding okay. new paths in the way you're going. I don't know pretty very much, much. Like, yeah. Okay. Okay. Like pretty much like the Telltale games with the Walking Dead series, right? Yeah, kind of, but sure. it looks way better, and it looks yeah. like it's gonna be way better than all those games. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely liking the art direction. Yeah, hell yeah, it looks really, it looks very unique, you know. Yeah, it, it's giving me that Dragon Tales vibe, you know. Dragon Tales. Oh <laughs> yeah, when it comes out of the book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not like literally Dragon Tales. Like it looks better, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this game looks looks like it's gonna be a hit indie for Switch. Uh, did it didn't have a release date, huh? Um, no, I don't think so. Well, yeah, yeah. I don't know much, but oh. pretty much it seems like story based. Like you're creating your own story as you go on. This is called uh where the. Where the water tastes like wine. Something like that. I forgot. I can't read my writing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that game looks really interesting. I can't. For sure, that's going to be day one for me. For sure. I, I really want to learn more about that game. It looks awesome. There's another uh, indie game that came out called Tools Up. Mm-hmm. Did you watch that one? Oh, yeah. It's like uh, for PS4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched yeah, it's for it's for PS4. Oh yeah, it is for yeah, PS4. Yeah, yeah. I, at first I thought it was for Switch, but looking at the vid, like it's on Switch I, too. Oh really? Yeah, hell yeah. I'm gonna grab that before we go to the camp trip so we could play. For sure. Is it out already? Yeah. Oh shit. I think. For sure. It I'm looks fun, you know. Sure. Like, I'm assuming it's multiplayer co-op, you know. Yeah, it's more like it's kind of like Overcooked, but you're pretty much like, uh, building like someone's house for them, and everyone's mm-hmm. just like doing one thing. It looks really fun. It looks like a crazy uh, party co-op, couch co-op. Yeah, yeah, it kind of reminds me of uh, Mario Party a bit. Just a little bit, you know? Oh, yeah, I get it. Yeah, like, just a random mini game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tools Up. It looks really fun. Like, if you have a Switch, I say definitely go check that out. Mm-hmm. And uh, last on our video game news, we got uh, Persona 5 Royale. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you guys don't know, Persona 5 is... Fuck, it's such a great game. I haven't beat it yet, but I do want to beat it. If you guys have not played Persona 5, I say you might as well just wait for Persona 5 Royale to come out because it's pretty much all of Persona 5, but with brand new elements in between the entire story. Yeah. So Persona 5, but with DLC throughout the entire story. So pretty much the original game was like 150 hours. And then now I believe this one's going to be like 200 hours. Shit. Wow. Wow. I don't know. I could be wrong, but yeah. I was kind of confused at first, but that's pretty much how I'm taking it. It's Persona 5 with new DLC in between the entire story. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm super hyped wow. for it. Yeah, Persona 5 Royale. If you don't want to play the game, then you could go watch the anime. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I heard oh, the, it's based on anime? No, the, the anime is based on the game. Oh, okay, for sure. But oh. uh, I've heard a lot of people didn't really like the anime, and uh, like I watched the first couple episodes, and it's cool. But I'd rather play the game myself because you get so much more out of it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But yeah, that's Persona Five Royale that comes out March thirty first. Mm-hmm. And I'm really hyped for that. I pre-ordered the the deluxe edition, mm-hmm. so I'm pretty hyped. It comes with the mask and a steelbook. 
Wait, when did the game come out? Persona Five. Uh. uh last when year. Did, or this year? When did the Switch come out? Last year. No, the Switch came out in 2017. Okay, 2017 then. Whoa! Wow. And yeah. they're coming out with Royale, so. Yeah, basically, it's just the entire game with DLC in between. So like a game of the year edition or like pretty much like, I don't know. No, it's not game of the year because the DLC never came out for the game. True. Okay. That makes sense. But yeah, you get brand new. There's these things called personas, pretty much kind of like Pokemon that you can catch. But Mm -hmm. the personas are like new abilities for your character. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty dope. I like it. You pretty much go into uh, there's like these evil people and uh, you pretty much go into their head and destroy the evil that's in them and they and after you do that um you they admit to all their wrongs and they like get in trouble for it and they like it's supposed to make them become a better person in the end of the story Mm -hmm. yeah it's pretty cool because all these people get together and do these things to those people to those bad people and they Mm -hmm. all have problems of their own you know like sometimes like there's this person that was like trying to kill themselves there's another person that uh that's pretty much just alone all the time because he she felt like uh I don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil nothing if you guys are really yeah, yeah. into that, but it's definitely a really good game if you want to check it out. Or you could just watch the anime. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Persona Five Royale comes out March thirty first, twenty twenty. But uh that's pretty much it for video game news. We could hop into our main topic. Mm-hmm. The game, game awards. Of the year. Game awards <laughs> and game of the year. Yeah. Yes. Alright, so I was thinking for the game awards we could I don't know. You want to start from the bottom and go up and save the game of the year uh, for mm-hmm. last? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. Let me get okay. to the bottom of the list really quick. All right, give me a second. All right, so game. if you don't know what the Game, game Awards is, it's pretty much where at the end of the year, not even at the end of the year, they have a cutoff date in November mm-hmm. because uh, throughout this entire list, dude, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is not on any of them. Fuck, because it just got out. It because it, it's it came it, out recently. It came I think the out, deadline was in November, right? Yeah, like no, like the first week of November. Was well, gonna have to wait till next year. That's for sure. I know, but uh, that's- yeah, pretty much the game awards. They give awards to like uh the publishers, the creators, and some of the actors that portray in the game too. Mm-hmm. But yeah, mm-hmm. so pretty much the first like we're gonna start from the bottom and work our way up. Okay. For sure. Best uh I guess the best VR AR game. We have Asgard's Wrath, Blood and Truth, Beat Saber, No Man's Sky, <coughs> Trover Saves the Universe. <laughs> oh, that was it. Just those five. Well you, uh, I've seen Beat Saber before and it's pretty popular, so I'm assuming Beat Saber. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, Beat Saber. If you guys don't know what Beat Saber is, it's a VR game. And uh like it's not like Guitar Hero, but it's kind of like Guitar Hero. Or, like, remember that old iPhone game? If you had an iPod Touch back then, when they first came out, like, uh, Tap Tap Revolution? Mm-hmm. It's kind of like that, but you're, you you have lightsabers, and you slice up boxes in the arrow directions they're pointing at. So if the arrow mm-hmm. points up, you swing your lightsaber up. If the arrow's pointing down, you swing your lightsaber down. And it's just, like, mm-hmm. a bunch of, like, r- like, really fucking dope-ass music as you're going through. It's so fucking sick. Mm-hmm. But yeah, VR game, uh, I would have to say Beat Saber. Just because yeah. I have Beat Saber and I like it, but damn, I wonder what is it, it would addicting? be. Is it the game addicting? Yeah, I like it. Good workout? But then again, i never seen Blood and Truth, Asgard's Wrath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard No Man's Sky looks really good in VR. And I heard Trover Saves the Universe is a really cool VR game to play. But I yeah. know everyone loves Beat Saber. I'm pretty sure Beat Saber is going to win. Yeah, most likely. I didn't um, Sorry, wait, go. Uh, go my bad. Uh, didn't Resident Evil Seven VR win an award, or am I just tripping out? Resident Evil Seven, last year? No, for VR, like did it, did it, uh, for VR awards, like did Resident Evil Seven win in that category? Maybe for best VR. I if don't know. It, I haven't... If it didn't go up against uh, Super Hot, uh, then it okay. maybe did because I I would pick Super Hot over Resident Evil Seven. Ah, uh, you saw. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, though. All right, for the next category, we got strategy game. Age mm. of Wonders, Planetfall, Anno 1800, Fire Emblem, Three Houses, Total War, Three Kingdoms, Tropico 6, or Wargroove. 
I have no idea which name. No, I'm kidding. I have no idea what, what games are those. I have never heard of any of these games, but I only played Fire Emblem, so I'm going to pick Fire Emblem. I'm assuming uh, those games are uh, PC, because, you know, VR, like, no. it's mostly PC or PS4, right? I think or... four of these are PC, and one and two of these are on Nintendo Switch, and I think you can get Wargroove on PC also, though. Okay, okay, okay. Pretty sure. Wow. All right, so we'll pretty much skip that one, because we don't know much yeah, about Yeah, I have no idea, man. <laughs> All right, this one's sports and racing game. Oh, okay. FIFA. Crash, <laughs> Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel, Dirt mm-hmm. Rally 2.0, eFootball Pro Evolution Soccer 2020, mm-hmm. F1 2019, or FIFA 20. Oh my God, I, have, I have no idea, man. Like, I wish they had Fight Night, you know, on there. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that game. That game was badass. But like, in seriousness, I think FIFA is going to take it. Or FIFA? PES too. I've heard that PES, uh, PES or PES soccer game mm-hmm. is like superior to FIFA. So I've heard, you know, I'm not I'm not really a soccer video game fan. Yeah. Hmm. Me neither. I hate <laughs> soccer. I'm going to go with yeah. Crash Team Racing. <laughs> Same here. All right. For uh score music whoever has a outstanding music inclusive Doom. score nah. original song or licensed soundtrack we got uh cadence of hyrule uh-huh. death stranding devil yeah. may cry kingdom hearts 3 or sayonara wild hearts um and i'm assuming i'll say devil may cry devil may cry fuck they do have some pretty good music in that game <laughs> I pick Kingdom Hearts just because I only play Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I've heard Sound Hour Wild Hearts is really cool. I got to add that to my backlog. <laughs> All right, for the next category, we got role playing game Disco um, Elysium. I think that's how you say it. Final mm-hmm. Fantasy XIV, Kingdom Hearts Three, Monster Hunter, or The Outer Worlds? Uh, Monster Hunter, so I've heard. Dude, Monster Hunter is fucking... Oh, sorry. Not Monster Hunter World. It's Monster Hunter World Iceborne. That's like a brand new DLC or the biggest expansion they added to the game. But I heard it it could be its own game or something. I don't remember. Awesome. It's on there. Yeah, I heard Monster Hunter does really have good ones. But I'm going to pick... I'm going to pick Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah, that, that, that game just came out, right? No, it's been out. Oh, for sure. On PC. Oh, we're talking. I'm talking about Final Fantasy VII, right? The remake. Or oh yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. That comes out next oh, okay. year. For sure. Okay, this one has best performance. Ashley Birch from The Outer Worlds. Courtney mm-hmm. Hope. Are you uh, looking at the list also? Uh. On your computer. If you're not, I I was just asking. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not dude. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm hearing you though. I hear you. Courtney Hope. Uh, Jesse Fadden from Control. Laura mm-hmm. Bailey from Gears 5, Mads Mickelson from Death Stranding, Matthew Peretta from Control, mm-hmm. and Norman Reedus from Death Stranding. Obviously, Norman Reedus is like the most, the well, the better known actor in that in that category. So I'll just go with Norman Reedus. Like I haven't even played Death Stranding, but that's Norman Reedus. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming, but hey, you know, I could be wrong. I'm gonna pick uh, Mads Mickelson from Death Stranding. How? Oh, okay, okay. Why? I don't know. Yeah. I just feel like he would win. <laughs> okay, sure. But I uh, mean, Death Stranding is a big budget game, video game. Yeah, hell yeah. For sure. All right, for the next one, we got the best ongoing game: mm-hmm. Apex Legends, Destiny mm-hmm. Two, Final Fantasy Fourteen, Fortnite, and Rainbow um, Six Siege. What do you think? Uh, I'm gonna have to say Fortnite, dude. That game is or Apex Legends, right? Apex Legends, that's the name, right? Uh-huh. Um, I don't think Apex can can, can compete with the uh, Fortnite, but I'll say Fortnite, dude. I'm not a Fortnite fan, but I mean, like, I know what it is, you know, and I and I know uh-huh. it's, I know it's fucking huge. So um, I'll, I'll have to say Fortnite. I'm was, going right. Best yeah. ongoing game. Yeah. I'm going. Fortnite. All right, I'm gonna say Final Fantasy. <laughs> Really? Yeah, I've heard a lot of great things from Final Fantasy this year. For sure. Yeah. Like I have no hate against Fortnite, but I always hear like I always see like, you know, older old like older people, like older gamers saying like, "Oh, Fortnite's killing the video game industry," you know. 
like you know just leave it at that dude if kids want to play fortnite let them play you know you know quit complaining you know you play your own games like let them play their own games you know mm-hmm. that's that's just my opinion but i mean fortnite you know i have nothing against it if it wins then i mean it's i guess it's i guess it's like well deserved you know yeah all right for yeah. for best narrative i have to add this game to my backlog i heard this game's good too uh best narrative a plague tale innocence control mm-hmm. death stranding disco elysium or the mm-hmm. outer worlds who do you got i haven't played either of those games but i'm gonna say death stranding just hideo kojima mm-hmm. i could be wrong though but hideo kojima is like definitely like a legend when it comes to like when it comes to video games mm-hmm. i'll just go with death stranding pretty much all right you know i'm going in i'm going in blind so i don't know what i'm saying but yeah death stranding i'm gonna go with the outer worlds because that's the only one i played a little bit of but mm-hmm. a lot of people say control has a really good story okay and but yeah i don't know i haven't heard a lot from a plague tale i just heard a lot of people say good things about it and i never mm-hmm. heard what the fuck is disco elysium like what the yeah. hell is that i gotta watch a video mm-hmm. after this <laughs> and if i'm sorry if i don't know what that is because what the hell but uh, yeah same here <laughs> next category uh best multiplayer game Ooh. apex legends that came out this year mm-hmm. uh Apex Legends, Borderlands 3, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, mm-hmm. <laughs> Tetris 99, <laughs> or Tom Clancy's The Division. Wait, wait, uh, Fortnite's not on there? Uh, it has to came out this year. Oh, for sure. Oh, it has to come out. Oh, yeah, that's correct. Oh, um. I'm going to go with Apex. Uh- I feel like Apex came yeah, out, yeah, like, came out of nowhere, hard. and like yeah, just, they came in hard. Yeah. They did, yeah, yeah, they did. Although they didn't, they haven't de- dethroned uh, Fortnite. It's definitely up there, you know. I've 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 read. Mm-hmm. Uh, as for Modern Warfare, you know, Modern Warfare has has won so many awards for um, for multiplayer. Uh, so I'm assuming Apex. You know, I think they're gonna give Apex a try. Yeah, I would rather Apex get it than Call of Duty because it is the same shit, honestly. Yeah, yeah, it is the same. There is. You cannot say that it is different. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? If you're playing yeah. multi if you're playing Call of Duty and you play it every single day for hours just for team deathmatch, mm-hmm. it's the same shit. <laughs> <laughs> In my opinion. But yeah, I would give it to Apex. It came out of nowhere. I mean it did get leaked, but like no one saw that leak coming at all. Yeah, yeah. It will, yeah, yeah. That's true. For best uh, mobile game. Call of Duty Mobile. Grind, <laughs> grindstone sayonara wild hearts oh that's on mobile i gotta play that uh mm-hmm. sky children of the light or what the golf i'll have to go with what the golf <laughs> what, the golf. <laughs> what the golf <laughs> have yeah. you played that game dude no dude <laughs> i'm assuming uh, it's golf right that's my vote i'm a vote for that game too i hope it wins i really do uh what the golf uh, if you have uh, an iPhone and you have Apple Arcade, if you don't, you could get a free trial for a week. Mm-hmm. And then after that, it's $5 for a month. But I say get it, the free trial, and download What the Golf because that game is so awesome. It's pretty much a golfing game. But uh, you start off with regular golf, and then it comes out to like some crazy shit. Like You'll start golfing a cow. You'll golf yourself or like golf a <laughs> golf cart. It's so fucking dope. For sure. It's so there's so like cool. some, there's some like crazy ass humor in there. Yeah, like the, the there, physics right? in that game is is crazy, is nonsense. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that game is awesome. For sure. Uh, best independent game. Baba is you, Disco Elysium, Katana Zero, Outer Wilds, or Untitled Goose Game. Oh my god, this year is so boring, dude. The Game Awards. <laughs> I just feel like because you don't. <laughs> You haven't yeah, played yeah. most of these games. No, that's true. That's true. But you compare it to last year: Spider Man, Red Dead Redemption, God of War. Like what other game? Like all right, but you got to think about it too. We're coming to the end of a console era. That's true. You know what I mean? So that no one's gonna cool. drop a big ass game at. Well, then again, they are dropping The Last of Us Two at the end of fucking PS4's life cycle. Yeah, yeah. But then for again, sure. they did do the same thing for PS3, right? They actually did, right? Yeah, yeah, they did. That's true. But yeah, I who, guess. Who do you got for best independent game? I don't know any of those games, dude, but I want to hear it from you. What do you personally think? Fuck. 
I'm going to go with Katana Zero because that's the only game I played the most out of. But I've heard... I have Untitled Goose and I, I played Untitled Goose and Outer Wilds. But I played the most out of Katana Zero. You know what? I'm going to go with Outer Wilds because I like... <laughs> like I've liked what other people said about it and I do want to play more of it. Outer Wilds is a game where... You you're on a time you're not you're not on a timer, but pretty much if you don't get it done within a certain time limit, the game starts all over, mm-hmm. and uh, you pretty much keep starting over and over and over and over, and you keep relearning on the stuff you do, and you pretty mm-hmm. much just explore. I don't know the end game, but yeah, I really like the way that one goes. I'm gonna go with Outer Wilds. For sure, I'll go. I'll go with it too. <laughs> all right. Now I want you to go with Untitled Goose Game. Okay, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> go with Untitled Goose Game because that game is fucking funny. You can get it on Switch. Oh, it's only on Switch. Oh, no. It's on PC on the Epic Store, but you could get it on Switch, too. I say mm-hmm. look up a trailer after we're done with this. Yeah, definitely. Uh, best games for impact. Uh, I guess that means for a thought-provoking game with a pro-social meaning or message behind the entire game. Oh, shit. Concrete Genie. Grease. Kind Words. Life is Strange 2, or Sea of Solitude? Uh, I've heard of Li- Life is Strange before. I'm, I'm going to go with Life is Strange. I'm a, I never played any of these games. Sea of Solitude <laughs> looked cool as fuck, but I didn't play it. <clears throat> yeah. I'm going to go with Concrete Genie. That was For a sure? PSVR game exclusive. For sure. Hashtag oh, not I'm... a fanboy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, game Direction. Uh... Best Game Direction, awarded for Outstanding Creative Vision and Innovation in Game Direction and Design. Control, Mm -hmm. Death Stranding, Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 2. (laughs) Let me finish. (laughs) Uh, Sekiro, Shadow Jai Twice, or Outer Wilds? You already know what I'm going to say, dude. Damn. Outer Wilds. (laughs) Resident Evil 2 has some nominations in this year's Game Awards, and I don't want to vote for it it at all because it's a remake no 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 it it, it still counts though i know it still counts though but in my head it's like it's it's like it's completely different from the original one but it already came out no it's like it's like it's made from the ground up so it it actually counts you know i know it counts but in the back of my head i'm just thinking yeah i guess same thing you know what i mean it's not the really same. It's, this, it's it's the same thing, but it's not the same thing at all. I don't know how I to say it. it. I know I know what you mean, but it's like it's made from the ground up, you know, and it has like different elements to it, mm-hmm. different from the original. So that counts as a as a new game, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just you know the the first the second the second Resident Evil two came out twenty years ago. So yeah, like I say, it's brand new. You know, it's a it deserves it. You know. All right. That's me though. I'm gonna go with. Don't you dare. (laughs) (laughs) Game Direction. Awarded for Outstanding Creative Vision and Innovation in Game Direction and Design. I'm going to go with Death Stranding. You think so? Yeah. That Amazon Package Simulator? (laughs) (laughs) I just feel like it has the most unique out of all of them. I guess. You know, that's true. That's true. But with Resident Evil 2... That game, uh, that game really brought back uh, survival horror. That's for sure, dude. It didn't bring it back. They it already just... did that shit back in two thousand one. With what? Next. No. Nah. <laughs> All right. Nah, dude. I'm for sure. Uh, for, uh, but yeah, my vote, your vote for game direction, Resident Evil Two. My vote, yeah. Death Stranding. For sure. All right, best fresh indie game presented by Subway. Eat fresh. Recognizing a new independent studio that released its first game in 2019. Mm. Uh, Za Um for Disco Elysium. Mm. <laughs> what is that game? I have no idea. Nomado Studio for Gris. Uh, Dead Toes Entertainment for My Friend Pedro. Mobius mm. Digital for Out of Wilds. Mega Crit for Slay the Spire. Or House House for Untitled Goose Game. I don't know whichever studio has the best name. Honestly, like I don't, I don't know any of these studios. Are you gonna pick uh, Dead Toes Entertainment then, or House House? <laughs> Dead Toes. Dead uh, Toes. I'll go with Dead Toes. All I right. like that. From my friend is Pedro. That's the the Deadpool looking game, the one with the banana. 
Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, okay, for sure. Right, yeah, so uh, I guess I made the right decision. I want to <laughs> pick that one too. Now I'm gonna go with Mega Crit. I played Slay the Spire. So I have like 35 hours in Slay the Spire. I mm. love that fucking game. <laughs> for sure. Uh, best fighting game: Dead or Alive Six, Jump Force, Mortal Kombat 11, Samurai Showdown, or Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Mortal Kombat. I'm gonna go Super Smash Bros. Isn't uh, it's like the uh, the same right the one a couple years ago? Wait, what? It's like a. I don't know. No, Super I, Smash I like Bros. That. is the one that came out last year, but it didn't make the deadline. Oh yeah, that's true. But wasn't there like a previous one for the Wii U? Yeah. But it's like almost like the same, but this one's like more of a like expand expansion, much it like has, the Mario. Kart. It has every single character that was ever in a Smash game. Hmm. But no, this one has an actual story. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah I'm the sure Wii, the Wii Smash U did it. Yeah, I'm sure it's Smash One then. All right, for this one has the best family game: Luigi's Mansion Three, Ring Fit Adventure, Super Mario Maker Two, Super Smash Bros Ultimate, and Yoshi's Crafted World. It's pretty much like a Nintendo category, you know. It is all Nintendo. <laughs> oh my god. No, man, we need some real games, like some violence, you know, some Doom and we'll, we'll Call of Duty. <laughs> For a family game? Yeah, <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, I'll have to go with Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Mansion? Yeah. I'm going to go... I feel like all of these aren't even family games. Yeah, like... If anything, I'm, I'm going to go with Smash. Fuck it. I guess, yeah, yeah. Esports? I think... yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, go. I think uh, Luigi, Luigi's Mansion will get it. Just because, like, you know, like, uh, it's, like, reminiscent of Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. And if you're a parent, you know, you've most likely watched that film when you're little. So it'll just, like, that's really, that's a game that you would want to play with family, you know? Yeah. In front of, yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, I feel like with Super Smash Bros, like, like, say you guys are about to leave for dinner. Like, I could imagine this scenario going as exactly as what I'm about to say right now, okay? Yeah. We're about to go eat dinner. Mom and dad are getting ready. Brother and sister are on the couch, right? You guys are playing Smash Bros. And mom and dad are like, all right, let's go. And you call your mom and dad like, hey, mom, dad, let me beat that ass really quick in Super in Super Smash. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? They're like, oh, hell no. Nah. And they grab a game control controller and show them kids what's up. Shit, man. I wish I had parents like that. You're just going to see <laughs> the parents uh, end the game with, game! <laughs> when they oh, get off knock I street. When they, get, <laughs> when they get knocked <laughs> off the screen. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, that makes sense, you know, but I'll still go with Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> that sounds realistic, right, though? Yeah, it does, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so <real. laughs> yeah, it sounds good, dude. The next one is uh, Best Esports Team. I think we, oh, should, no. we could just skip it. Yeah, man. The Best Esports Player. I don't and... give a fuck. <laughs> I'll say PewDiePie. I'll vote for PewDiePie. <laughs> best Esports Host. No, I don't know. Uh... <laughs> What's 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 that dude's name from? Um, what's that girl's name from my gym? Well, she used to work. Uh, She's not in here. <laughs> I I know I know I know. Are we I just gonna I... skip all the esports stuff? Yeah, man. Let's get. All right. Huh? I'd rather do the real thing, sports. <laughs> all right. Uh, best uh community support. Recognizing a game for outstanding community support, transparency, and responsiveness. <laughs> They're games. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Apex Legends, Destiny Two. Final Fantasy fourteen, Fortnite or Rainbow Six Siege. Uh Fortnite, dude. They're they're always busting out um costume DLCs like like I don't know much about Fortnite, dude, but like every time I turn on my Switch, hold there's on, hold always on, hold on. This is community support. It's about um the people that make the games listening to the community and like giving good responsiveness. So if they say they don't like something, they'll change yeah, it in the game. It. Yeah, Fortnite, dude. Uh, every time I turn on my Switch, dude, uh, there's always an, an update, and I'm assuming the developers like update the game. You know, they update the glitches, like they fix the glitches and stuff like that. I'm gonna have to say Fortnite, dude. It's just such a huge game, and uh, I'm sure they're not trying to fuck it up, you know. So I'll have to say Fortnite. All right, I'm gonna go Final Fantasy again, just cause Wait. I have a homie that just plays that game. Kyle, if you're listening, all my votes that have Final Fantasy. They're all going to Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh, best audio design. Recognizing the best in-game audio and sound design. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. 
Control, Death Stranding, Gears 5, Resident Evil 2, Resident or Sekiro, 2. Shadows Die Twice? I'm going to say Resident Evil 2, man. The fucking ambience. Uh, oh my god, that game was so fucking sick. I played it on hard mode, and I played it with the earphones on, mm-hmm. connected to the Xbox controller. Dude, you can hear the fucking zombies from outdoors. Like, you can hear, like, the creak noises of the wood, you know, wooded, uh, the wooden um, floors, everything, dude. I'm going to have to say Resident Evil 2. It has to win that. It just has to, dude. It has really good soundtrack. And overall, like, you know, the sounds of the zombies, like the footsteps. The, uh... Yeah, dude. I'm going to have to say Resident Evil 2. I'm going to agree with you on that. Yeah. If you played it with, if you played it with headphones, earphones, you, you know what I'm talking about. That game was fucking intense if you played it with earphones on. If you played it, like... If you played it like just like in general, you know, TV audio, like no, you have to play with that headphones to get like the full experience. But yeah, I'm just a Resident Evil too. I agree, one hundred percent. For sure. Next on the list, we got best art direction for outstanding creative and or technical achievement in artistic design and animation. Control, mm-hmm. Death Stranding, Gris, Sayonara Wild Hearts, Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. And uh, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. That game came out years ago, right? Like 20 years ago? Hey, bitch. It's just like Resident <laughs> Evil 2, okay? <laughs> <laughs> what do you um, think? Wait, what was the category again? Uh, best Art Direction. I'm going to have to say Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening? Hmm. I, yeah. I feel like that one's going to win, but I'm going to vote for Sekiro. Shadows Die Twice. Okay. I really like the way uh that game looks. For sure. Makes sense. Best action adventure game. Uh mm. combining combat and traversal and puzzle solving. Mm. Borderlands three. Control. Death Stranding. Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Sekiro. Shadows Die Twice. And your favorite. Resident Evil Two. <laughs> Oh man, I'm Resident. Well, Resident Evil Two had action, but it had really good action. When it gets really intense, there was definitely some action, but it was mostly like slow paced, which I had no problem with, you know, because it's a zombie game. It's not like a fucking. Mm-hmm. It's not like Kill Floor, you know. It's not like Doom where you're killing it so many at once. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really call it an action game, but there was definitely action. But I would have to go with um, uh, Borderlands, three. Hmm. Wow. This one I'm going with Resident Evil 2 because I feel like there is a lot of action in Resident Evil 2. Really? Okay, I'll, and you know what? Now that I think of it, yeah, Resident Evil 2 had action, but it wasn't, you know, action action like Doom. It was just like most, Oh most, yeah. It was definitely like scary action like fuck, I have to kill this dude before he kills me kind of action, you know? For for the way I'm thinking of it, I'm thinking of Resident Evil 2 as in like okay, when like puzzle like I didn't know that puzzle solving was in action adventure, but like I'm thinking yeah. about it. It's like Resident Evil 2 is all about puzzles. Like you yeah, have to yeah, go get this key, figure out this this safe or this valve, how to turn it and stuff. But yeah. before you even like figuring out those puzzle pieces, you have to go through so many zombies and stuff and yeah. get to where you need to go. And I feel like that adds up to the adventure part. I feel like Resident Evil 2 is really like could like this is like a really deserving part. Like no no thought about anything else. I think Resident Evil 2 is fucking dope for this category. Yeah. That's because you played it on normal, right? You did, right? Yeah. Fuck no, wait, dude. there was 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 there only three difficulties? Yeah, I think it was easy, normal, and prof- and um professional, I think. Okay, yeah. Or yeah, professional or I don't know. I played the highest difficulty, which was fucking intense dude i remember i didn't even want to i didn't want to turn on the game dude because i was like so in so paranoid dude like just so stressed out because of the zombies dude it was really definitely one of the best video game experiences i've ever played but yeah like in, t- in terms of action i would have to go with borderlands just because resident evil 2 to me the way i played it the difficulty made it made it not an action game maybe because you played it on normal it made it kind of action but for me it was not action dude hmm. oh action because you had to play slowly yeah, I I had I had the ink ribbons. I had to find ink ribbons in order to to save the game. I think I told you once that I went like an hour without saving, and I and I died, and I had to start over like an hour, like like in the previous you know uh, section where I had left off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I wouldn't I wouldn't call Resident Evil Two an action game. I'd probably go with Borderlands or Link's Awakening. All right, well you just fucked yourself because now <laughs> we're on the best action game. 
Okay. All right. Okay, for sure. Uh, the best game in the action genre focused primarily on combat. Apex Legends, Astral Chain, Call of Duty, Devil May Cry, Gears 5, and Metro Exodus. I've heard of Metro Exodus. Um, Gears 5, you know, I've never been a Gears fan, but I've seen gameplay of it. It looks pretty damn badass. Yeah, we gotta let an Xbox game win one, you know? So let's Yeah, I'll go with Gears. Yeah, fuck it, you know? Psych, they wish. Yeah. Hashtag not a fanboy. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm gonna pick a Devil May Cry 5 because that act, that game is so fucking clean when you're fighting. It's like God of War, right? God of, like God of War 3, God of War 2, right? Yeah, sort of. Not, not the recent God of War, but, you know, the old the old uh, previous God of War games. Yeah, but think of it, but, like, 20 times better. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> damn it making me laugh, laugh too loud but i'm gonna go with uh devil may cry 5 though definitely for sure i'll go with metro metro exodus all right yeah and now to our final category game of the year recognizing mm-hmm. a game that delivers the absolute best experience across all creative and technical fields all right. control death stranding resident evil 2 <laughs> Sekiro, right Shadows Die Twice, Smash Bros. Ultimate, or The Outer yeah. Worlds? Resident Evil 2, man. Resident Evil... Damn, dude, it would be fucking crazy if they give Resident Evil 2 Game of the Year. I mean, like, why wouldn't they give it to Smash Bros.? I mean, Smash Bros., like, give dude. Resident Evil a chance, you know? <laughs> it, would not, it would not <laughs> surprise me if they give that shit to Smash Bros. Yeah, dude. I mean, I just feel like there's a lot of, like, fans, you know, of Smash Bros., so I wouldn't be surprised mm-hmm. either. But I would be surprised if Resident Evil got it, because Res- that would be... Res- if, if Resident Evil 2 were to win uh, Game of uh, Game of the Year, that would be the first time since Resident Evil 4, dude. That was back in 05. Damn. Yeah, dude. Um, I would have to go with Resident Evil 2, man. It was just something fresh, dude. Like, there wasn't really... There weren't really that many, hor- like, survivor horror games the way Resident Evil 2 had it. Mm-hmm. Like, but um, what it was it perfect? No, I don't. I don't think Resident Evil was perfect, but it was pretty damn entertaining, dude. It was worth my. It was worth sixty dollars day one pre order, you know. So yeah, I'll go with Resident Evil too, dude. That's just me. That's maybe because I'm like a huge fan of Resident Evil, but damn man, that game was fucking crazy, dude. I enjoyed it. I'm gonna go with. Ah man, I don't know. I feel, I feel like I feel like in the end it's either gonna be control or death stranding. I don't know why. No, but, I don't think death stranding. I don't think so. Looking at the reviews and even like I read like some, you know, genuine reviews from like like on Reddit and like just like in general, like on YouTube and I've heard I've read that from people that it's some people enjoy it, some people don't, but they what they always what they uh all mention is that it depends on the gamer if you're into those type of games yeah yeah like i guess it's like slow place like within like the first three hours and then it gets like crazier towards the end but i mean like hey everyone's different dude if you're into that like then fuck it that's game of the year game of the year for you uh, for you you know yeah but yeah like but i know what you mean i'm gonna pick Sekiro. to get up for sure what is that exactly is that a, like a fighting game it's a dark skull dark souls s uh fighting game so you okay. pretty much always have to be on your toes. If you're not on your toes, you're going to get fucked. Oh, for sure. Not even fighting just bosses, just fighting regular enemies, dude. Yeah, it yeah. It is hard, but uh, it has no difficulty. Mm-hmm. So you're pretty much, whatever you're playing at, that's that's how hard it is. Yeah. There's no easy mode. There's no hard mode. That's You get what you get. <laughs> it's fucking hard. For sure. But yeah, oh. dude, it's... I feel like for the way you like playing hard games, I feel like you should try like a Dark Souls esque game. Yeah, 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 I should, dude. Honestly, like you, I think you'll like them. It's like Bloodborne, right? Yeah, Is it? for sure. You know what? Believe it or not, I haven't played Blood Bloodborne yet. Me neither, because it was so you hard, had it. and I had it. I my homie let me borrow it. Uh, the reason why I never got far in it because when that game came out. It had really bad fucking load times when you like because oh, yeah. it's a hard game already. There's no difficulty in it either, and um, when you die, you have to l- wait for it to load, and then you come back. And like, if I'm playing like a game, like I want to be back as soon as possible because I want to fuck that guy up because I just fucking died. 
You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. no joke, the loading times were like three minutes, dude. Fuck. So that and just kills the vibe. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Because I get on my phone, and I'm like doing something. I look back up at the TV. I'm like, oh, I'm back in. I grab my yeah, controller. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I died. Another three minutes? Yeah, dude. I cannot do it. Yeah. Man, man, put your phone away. Shit. Try and enjoy the game. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was our final segment. Game of the year. You're going with Resident Evil 2, and I'm going with Sekiro. If you sure. uh if you guys want to vote, you can go to the gameawards.com uh and you guys can vote for yourself uh for your favorite game. Yeah. And uh basically the way votes work, um 90% are uh video game uh companies like IGN, Easy Allies, Game Informer. Those are the 90% of the votes. 10% of the votes. I don't even think 10%, I think 5% is uh people all around the world that are voting online and the other five are something else something like mm-hmm. that but yeah if you guys want to go vote the game awards.com i say definitely go check it out and vote for your favorites for sure and resident evil 2 for me <laughs> i'm gonna go second though, just because no. i i don't know like i know for sure resident evil 2 is gonna win something yeah it will it definitely will for sure game i feel like out of all these games that are game of the year, Control, Death Stranding, Resident Evil 2, Sekiro, Super Smash Bros., and The Outer Worlds are going to win something because they're mm-hmm. all announced in other games. True. I hope Devil May Cry wins something too. I really would like that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, that pretty much ends the podcast. We're going to end the podcast with some, com- I got some more community would you rather questions. For sure. <clears throat> Do you have your would you rather? Yeah. You do? Fuck, I don't have one. Yep. <laughs> I just came up with it earlier. Wow. Okay, go hit me with it. <laughs> All right, for sure. Would you rather be... Would yes. you rather be... <laughs> no. Would you rather be an alcoholic addict? Well, an alcoholic or a drug addict? Fuck, like a druggie. Drug... Druggie? Yeah, because I could sell that shit. Oh, my God. No, you have to... you're an addict, dude. Yeah, so I know. So you need that shit. I mean, and alcoholic, I'd... obviously, obviously you're gonna be drunk. Like you're gonna be fucking buzzed out, you know, fucking <sighs> beating your wife and shit, you know. Damn. <laughs> Which, you, nah, would I'd you be, rather? Be? I'd be a druggie. Dude, you can fucking overdose. Okay, oh, yeah, I could die from alcohol poisoning. I mean, not really, because well, yes, that's you possible. can. That is possible. I know, but you can get your shit pumped. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Uh, yeah, I think that's bad timing though, because like. I don't know if you read on if I don't know if you've been on social media, you know that you know rapper. Yeah, all rappers yeah. are dying from fucking Caesars. Yeah, dude. No, yeah, from drug use, dude. Well, oh yeah, well yeah, that's how they get the well, Caesar. <laughs> yeah, I know. And here you are trying to, you know, saying you want to, you'd rather be a drug addict than a alcoholic, you know. I'm trying to go out like them. <laughs> oh my god. No, I'm just kidding. Rest in peace to all those rappers, but. For real. I mean, hey. Rest in peace, Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> okay let me see. i don't have a would you rather question i wasn't ready for sure but we can read some community ones uh sure. salvador said uh would you rather spend a week in county jail or a week in an asylum oh fuck fuck the asylum dude you ever played <laughs> arkham asylum fuck that. exactly why i'm going to the asylum i fit in there oh my God. no dude i'd rather go to the county jail i, would, I wouldn't mind meeting bubba than fucking uh, crazy charlie you know god i Bro. picked the asylum like i said i belong in there already nah dude the asylum is just some crazy dudes like, i'll see like, the joker you know? in there oh come on dude and harley quinn that's true you'll see calendar man killer croc everyone <laughs> <laughs> all right from jesse said uh would you rather swim in shrek swamp or have suds from spongebob um, fuck, J- Jesse. That's a good question. <laughs> well, I have, I'd rather have suds. Yeah, because like if I were to swim in Shrek's pool and swamp, I feel like I'd get like salmonella or whatever the fuck you, you know they call it, like disease. You know. Although I would like, I don't know. No, I'd rather get suds. Suds? I'd rather swim in Shrek's swamp. Why? <laughs> you get... He said. Why? <laughs> I know, why? Because I, I could be in the not. Shrek universe. I could sing. That's... I could sing All Star with Shrek. That's true. But you'd have to hey fart now. in the swamp. 
Oh yeah, I do got to fart in the swamp. You have to kill. Fi- uh, you have to kill fish. Fuck by it. Farting. Worth <laughs> it. As long as I get to hang out with Shrek and Donkey. <laughs> it's puss and boots. <laughs> sure. I got some other ones from the Discord. I don't know if you've seen the Discord. Have you seen the Discord in a while? I made a uh, I made a questions and would you rather uh tab in the text channels. So if you guys want to ask us would you rather questions, go straight to our Discord, join, and go straight to the would you rather questions. And you can post <laughs> them there and we'll read them on the next podcast. The next episode. Sure. All right. Yeah, those are some really good questions. For I mean we can keep reading more. You want to read more? Uh, it doesn't matter, you know. Uh we can read them. Absolutely. All right. I'll read a couple more. From sure. Psychokinetic Girl. Would you rather have the neck of a giraffe or the neck of a turtle? Fuck. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, obviously the turtles ne- the turtles don't really... They ha- do have long necks, but I mean, giraffes, you know, they're just... They're a lot longer. Um, I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, I think I'd have to go with the uh, turtle. Just because, could you imagine, like, having a really long neck, you know, as a human? Mm-hmm. People would stare at you, and then, but at the same time, if you were, if I had a, a neck similar to that of a giraffe, I'd be able to like see traffic easily. You know, I'd, I'd be able to spot out people. You know, true. But I, I'd feel that'd make me an easy target, though. People would throw gum at me, like throw pebbles at me. You know, <gasps> like, fucking big ass head, like just out there, you know, in, in public. Mm-hmm. So I'd have to go with turtle, just because turtles don't really have that long neck. But I mean, still, they do have long necks, but not as long as giraffes. Damn. What about you? I want the neck of a giraffe because I could be taller. Yeah. <laughs> but then, then again, I could just stretch my own neck with those rings I got. Have you seen those? Mm-hmm. The rings? Yeah, like, like, like I don't know what. Oh, like from from different culture? Or... Yeah, like they put the rings around neck. their neck and they stretch oh, the yeah. fuck out of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they already got giraffe necks. Yeah. So since they already got some, I'm gonna get a turtleneck. For sure. One with a striped sweater <laughs> is all the kind. That's turtleneck. Plus, you know, plus, like if you if you watch Ninja Turtles, like when one of the ninjas swings at at um, <laughs> yeah. Michelangelo, he he dodges it. He puts his his neck his In head in his turtle shell. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's yeah. smart. I'm gonna get that. I'm on a turtleneck. <laughs> all right. I said I, I'm a turtleneck. I said right. I had. I got turtle. <laughs> we're gonna be turtleneck brothers. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> All right, we're gonna read uh Scarlet Speedster. Uh who would win oh well all right. Who would win in a fight? All Might before he was injured or Naruto after he acquired Sage Mode. <sighs> I'm not into cartoons and DC universe, so I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll, I'll answer that. I'll answer this I'm... one. I'm gonna pick uh Damn, All Might will be OP as fuck, but Naruto's my boy. I'm going to have to pick Naruto just because Sage Mode, you pretty much have the power of uh, Hagoromo. Mm-hmm. And, uh, damn, I just feel like he could uh, empower All Might. All Might would be OP. He has the power of one for all. That gives him basically, like, immobility. Like, not immobility, but because he's obviously got injured, but, like, damn. I just picked Naruto because he's my boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me see. Let's see. We'll read two more. I can't really say much. I wish I had someone to like, like counter against who watches one uh, One Piece. I'm a fucking yeah. idiot. Uh, my Hero Academia and Naruto. <laughs> For sure. All right. Uh, Damien said, uh, "If you had an inch, or your dick." And your mom and your dad had an inch of his dick and your ass. Are you moving forward or backward to get out? What the fuck? Let me read that shit. <laughs> I can't read that right. Let me. Where is that question? Okay. It's in our Discord, the local podcast uh, I, Discord. Okay, I see. I see. I see. If you had it in. Oh, you're digging your mom and your dad. I read that. I'm going to read another one. Oh my God. <laughs> Daniela sent like 18. Oh my gosh. She said, Would you rather drop your wallet and keys at the bottom of a porta potty toilet or slip and fall face first into dog shit? I'd rather drop my, my, my wallet and keys. 
Yeah, I, I would drop them like that too. Shit, when I'm taking shit, so it's no different. <laughs> I'm gonna drop my wallet and my keys in the bottom of a porta potty because I could just leave that shit there, and then yeah. if I could slip and fall face first into dog shit, I have to clean that off. But fuck that, yeah. I'm just gonna drop my wallet and keys and never take that shit out. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's do a a run through of all of these. Would you rather lose your sense of taste or your hearing? Didn't we do that one already? I think we did something similar to that. Yeah. All right. Let's get that one. Would you rather find out you ate your dog after having finished your meal or accidentally kill a dog with your car? I kill another Uh, dog. Fuck it. I'm not eating. uh, I'm not eating my nut. I mean, I've done it before, but I mean, like, I'm kidding. (laughs) I'm kidding. (laughs) I don't know. I'd rather kill a dog, not to be fucked up, but I would not fucking want to eat dog food, like dog meat, you know? Mm Mm-hmm. Unless it's uh, unless it's like deep fried, but other than that, you know, like like Popeye's chicken sandwich, you know. But he said, like, "Give it to me, crunchy." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Would you rather have everyone you know lose all memories of you, or never talk to your best friend ever again? Oh uh, fuck! Could you repeat that again, Carlos? Would you rather have everyone you know lose all memories of you, or never talk to your best friend ever again? Fuck, dude. You're my best friend, though. Mike, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> Talk to your best friend. I'll, I'll go. I'll, I'd rather lose the best friend. <laughs> oh, God. I'm kidding. Bro. That's a hard question. That's a personal question. All right, let's get What would you say, Carlos? Uh, let's skip it. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd rather, I guess, lose everyone. Have everyone lose their memories of me. Because then I can make you my best friend if you lose your memory of me. That's true. But yeah, you'd have to make memories with uh your other friends. New mem- like they they'd be like, who the hell is this guy? Like, nah, it makes it homies. easier for who's my real homies. The that's true. <laughs> who yeah. I really care about. <laughs> true. That's uh, a good question. It's a good one. She said, uh, "Would you rather never be able to watch any form of television slash movies ever again, or never listen to music ever again?" I'd rather never listen to music because I barely even listen to that shit. I listen to a lot of music, so I'm have to go with never never watch TV or uh, shows or whatever. The, what the is. hell is wrong? I'm gonna have I to change to my last you question. Like... I'd rather never talk to my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, because I'm design. I'm always designing, so like I always listen to music. I don't watch TV, dude. I told you that. So yeah, True. I need music. Music drives me. All right, she said, "Would you rather be in a small room filled with rats or roaches?" Um. Uh, I say roaches, dude. You can eat them. You can eat them, but you can't kill them. I don't know. <laughs> no, um, with roaches, fuck it. Roaches, I'm yeah. right there, right next to you. <laughs> yeah, with rats, you know, rats do. Uh, they're bigger, you know. Obviously, depends. With like, if you're talking about New York rats or like California mm-hmm. rats, New York rats are like fucking huge. Plus, they carry diseases. So, True. yeah, I'd rather go with roaches. You know, you can just kill them with raid or something. Mm-hmm. Would you rather have the same reoccurring nightmare or have sleep paralysis every night? I already Fuck have. No. I already have both, so. Uh. I feel like that question doesn't even matter for me. <laughs> yeah, the same recurring um nightmare, honestly. Mm-hmm. To have sleep paralysis. Well, actually, sleep paralysis actually because I've had it before and I know when I. I actually know that I I have sleep paralysis paralysis. Mm-hmm. So I just like I just like chill for a bit. I know that my body's like. My my brain isn't awake or my my muscles aren't awake. That's why it's not moving. So like, mm-hmm. yeah, I'll go with sleep paralysis. I've had that before where I'm like, oh, you know, I know what's happening. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I I really don't know what to pick because I feel like I already have that. Like I have both at the same time. But it's and, every night. Yeah. No. Like yeah, I get it pretty much like twice a week. Mm-hmm. Like I pretty much like no joke like I have like this sleep paralysis like I already like I'm pretty much used to it already I guess but like I have this sleep paralysis where like I have like the exorcist like right above me and just screaming in my face and I can't wake up. Fuck! I've had something similar to that like the face of the grudge mm-hmm. girl with the white the white face. Mm-hmm. Dude, no bullshit! Like I saw it, like t- in my like left uh, peripheral uh, how do you say like my like peripheral it was, vision. Like, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So on my left side, and I just saw like this white face looking at me when I had the sleep paralysis. I was like, "Fuck, dude, that shit was fucking crazy, dude." It's just crazy how the mind works, dude. Mm-hmm. It really is. Yeah, but those are some good questions, though. Yeah, we pretty much read all of them. 
Yeah. I didn't even do some. I just read them. I'm sure all. Danielle looked them up, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Calling her out, but uh... okay. I'm oh, sorry, Danielle. <laughs> But yeah, that pretty much wraps up episode 21 of the local podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed. You guys could pretty much listen to our podcast on YouTube, Audio Boom, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and that's it. Uh, you can we have a Discord. Links to all those Discords are in the description wherever you're listening to this from. Join. You can ask us questions there, or even ask us, would you rather give us ideas for Would You Rather in the Would You Rather tab of our Discord. But yeah, I really, I really highly suggest you join our Discord because I'm trying to grow it out bigger, mm-hmm. and that's pretty much my goal. But yeah, I'm pretty hyped. We're pretty much getting to the end of the year. It's December eighth. Uh, we'll probably record one more podcast before this year ends. I'm trying to record two out, but we'll see. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much episode twenty-one of the local podcast. It's been a great year, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you for all my friends. Thank you for you. You know, thank you for everyone. You know, I feel that. But yeah, we'll be back. Hopefully, this podcast. Uh, mm-hmm. Hopefully, the next episode will get to you guys soon. We'll see how my work schedule goes. But yeah, thanks for all your guys' support this year. It's been a great year, honestly, for the podcast. We recorded yeah. the most yeah, episodes this year than we did last year when we first started. That's true. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, hope you guys have a good week when you guys are listening to this. Thanks for listening. Thank you, guys. Peace.